Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are re and -E. Audrey? Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Yeah, you've been ready for a long time. You too. You know you've been thinking yeah, about oh, it. Oh, yeah, me too, but... I, I'm feeding off your energy. Oh, you mean I've been ready for it like for years potentially? Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, maybe that too. But like leading up to today, which we're planning to finish Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater. Yeah, I, I felt, I feel like. Subsistence version. Anthony's just been like, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I'm excited too for that matter. But And I'm sure you guys in chat are as well. There's an excitement for me because I don't know what to expect. And there's the excitement from you because you know exactly what's going to happen. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So it's different, different. But oh, real quick. Viz says similar. we were a lot louder. Uh-oh. Oh, is there something up with the audio or did we just startle you specifically, Viz? Yeah, is, is, that, is, that just, are, is that your way of saying that I need to tone it down? Tone it down. I have been told I'm the Dark Souls of loudness <laughs> recently. Someone said. I don't think Cher is here right now, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Let let me know if the audio is too loud. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, or maybe we just went. We just came in hot because yeah. we're excited. How's it going, everybody? Yes, and thank you all for being here. Starting out, we got Rafa. What's up, Rafa? Are Thanks you excited? Oh wait, Rafa did say that they're excited for yeah. today's conclusion and uh, has been able to enjoy streaming a bit more. Can't wait to stream Death Stranding. Nice. Director's Cut, let's go. Let us know when you start. Yes. Um, continuing the uh, Hideo Kojima. Adventure. Adventure, yeah. Uh, I, I've been curious about Death Stranding too, and you played a little bit, but I, I don't, I. Yeah, it just came out at a bad time. I didn't have the yeah. time oh, to yeah. really sink into it yeah. and get hooked, but I, I do hope to revisit Those, the, the reveal and uh, the subsequent trailers for it were just like so yeah. gripping. It's like, he, what what is going on? Kojima like, loves cutting the trailers for his games himself personally. Oh. He kind of, like, like some of the trailers you've seen for these games, you can kind of treat them as oh. like short films. And almost. they're not, when he's not using Windows Movie Maker. No, he's not. No. He's not. <laughs> this is serious. It's serious yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, if I yeah, if I cut my own game, it'd probably be something. Yeah, movie. probably. Like, what software do I know? Yeah, yeah. I must paint for the logo. Yeah. Course, right? <laughs> and Raptor is here too. Raptor, how are you doing? Um, thanks for being here. And BK Fry Sauce. What's up? Happy Fry to sauce. have you. We still need to get Burger King again. I think every time yeah. we see BK Fry Sauce, it's like. I think I had I more Burger King Burger. than you growing up. Yes, yeah. you did. I had one sure. nearby. That's why. Yeah, they, they used to have like Coke ICs, no, or like. Frosty, like they're equivalent to like the icy like Coke slush drinks. Yeah, I think I remember I think so. getting those there. So. Maybe they still have it. I don't know. Maybe. Does anyone know? Please confirm. <laughs> and Koi is here. Oi, Koi boy. Oi, uh, Koi boy. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, La Bamba, what a thrill. Yeah, La Bamba, happy to have I'm you here. I'm so excited to see the end <laughs> of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm searching. <laughs> um, Blossom coming in with the do. Do, 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 do's. This is a song. I don't know what it is yet. For the record, I was attempting to hum the MGS main theme. There it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> great, great. Thank you. I was like, Blossom. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure. Is this a baby <laughs> shark thing? <laughs> <laughs> that is the main theme. That is the main thing yeah, about this baby game? Shark. Baby shark? Is that, <laughs> like, that does sound like a, um, like it could be a foxhound um agent name baby shark yeah we have we yeah, have naked snake be. baby shark we have solid snake yeah we have baby shark yeah, yeah. i can't wait i i think i want that to be my my um your um what was the I don't, yeah what sound it? code name? name yeah yeah what's up everyone no i think i think really i want my code name to be sleepy panda sleepy sloth sleepy didn't we say sloth? that i forgot but then that's too that's too direct. I feel like. <laughs> really? All right. Or maybe a different animal. I don't know yet. This is to, to Hideo Kojima. Don't write it down yet. I'll let you know when it's time. Um. Oh yeah, the Metal Gear Solid Five trailers trailers are on another level. Absolutely, I've seen them, but at this rate, because I still haven't played La Bomba. I still haven't played Metal Gear Solid Five, mm. and now. I don't want to watch the trailers again in case, because they're certainly spoilery. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen the trailers, or maybe I have the first reveal where it wasn't no clear what it was. Yes. And then right. there was kind of like this silhouette. And then, Phantom and then, Pain logo, yeah, yeah, something kind of like he washes the whole over. World. 
Yeah. Was that like the um, the fake trailer with the Moby Dick Studios as the fake developer name? Uh, I, I and don't remember. And then people deduce from the uh, the, the, the missing areas on the logo. Yeah. It was like the name of the game for the this fake game trailer was the Phantom Pain, but there were like portions of the logo missing mm. and people the internet sleuthed it and filled in the gaps and it's spelled out Metal, Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, I think I remember like I that. think I remember that part for yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Like some crudely not crudely drawn but like, you know, like someone typed in the letters yeah. and like, you know, paint or something and yeah. filled it in somehow. They did it. I I, I, va I vaguely remember that. Yeah, but that was like years ago now. What is that? Yeah. Like 2013, 2014? Really? All that was mar all that marketing was happening? Yeah. I don't remember. I think Metal Gear Solid 5 came out 2014 or 2015, right? Wow really yeah. it's been a while wow oh wait Bur uh, bk firesauce burger king honestly isn't that good <laughs> oh that this name comes from me trying to figure out a gamer tag for xbox my sister just said bk fry sauce so i went with it awesome i, I love, love it. that story love it. yeah but but that is it is bk is burger king right yeah. or does it stand for something else i <laughs> it's really funny were you guys like having burger king that night yeah <laughs> Yeah, baby, baby shark. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Baby shark is the main villain of MGS4. Spoilers, come yeah. on. That's Audrey how they spoiler. implant the nano mach machines. Yeah, with the baby shark. The song. Yeah. The yeah. baby shark song. It's an earworm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah confirm. Mm -hmm. Super spoily trailers. Yeah. The Phantom Pain. Don't watch the trailers. Yeah. Yeah, fry sauce. I mean, I had seen them. How can you not watch a Kojima trailer back in the day, right? But I haven't revisited them, and I don't think we will. That isn't yeah. to say that we're promising more Metal Gear after this. Yeah. We're still just riding the wave of yeah. fun. We, I mean, I haven't been, or we haven't been watching any, like, trailers leading into these playthroughs that we've been doing. Yeah. You actually even showed, you showed me the Metal Gear Solid 2 promotional material after we finished Afterwards, the game. Yeah. To show me the context. Like, hey, this is why, this is why people were Thought. actually upset yeah. with, um with what happened in the game because it, it kind of made it seem like it would be something something else. Yes, absolutely. And then it ended up being what it was. Um, not to and say it's what one it, of the reasons it was divisive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of... So I, I think we've actually been doing that with movies and other stuff too yes. where we'll watch the movie and then we'll go back and watch the promotional trailers and yeah. interviews and stuff like that. And 95% of the time we're like, dang, these trailers are spoiling oh, yeah. everything, dude. I, yeah, maybe more than movie. that. Yeah, yeah, so I just... Any movie that we plan to see, we make a point to just not. Yeah, we're already sold. We already yeah. got the tickets. Yeah, yeah. Why, spo so, why spoil it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, end of PS3? Gotcha. Was Metal Gear yeah, Solid 5. yeah. It was originally on PS3. Oh. Yeah. No Burger King in sight. It came out of nowhere. Just BK? Dude. Oh, no, no. Like it, it, it does refer to BK, but it wasn't inspired by some BK in the room no, at the just, time or anything. Yeah. Just, from the heart. Yeah. Yeah. You. He, uh, yeah. BK Fry Sauce with was this close to being Taco Bell Fire Sauce. Fire Sauce. <laughs> or McD's. Um, Mickey D's. The Big Mac. Or I don't know. Yeah. Dang. Mickey D's. Yeah. Sweet and sour. BK, you got to take up all the names for all of the other fast food places. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm or just any any fast food place underscore fry sauce. It would oh, be yeah, fine. Yeah. And Devil is here. Devil, how are you What's doing? Up, and Devil redeemed. Triple hydrate. Triple earlier. hydrate. Yeah, Why don't right. we go ahead and do that? Thank you. Thank you. Devil. Perfect way to start the stream. Rap there says, going to pre-order Kirby tomorrow. The demo was fun. I've heard a lot of great stuff about the Kirby. Oh, I haven't and heard. And the forgotten. Lands? Lands. Land? Demo. That it's really good. I haven't, heard, I haven't heard anything. And that makes me very excited. That makes Just me Just that overall, excited. the game feels like, oh, this is like a real big game yeah i mean when i i when oh. i saw it, i was like this is a kirby game oh he's gonna follow oh, from my audio was down Higa Densio. Higa. thank you so much thank you so much for the follow mini, mini dance party mini for dance you. party do, do, do. thank you welcome thanks for being here yeah i haven't i haven't checked it out myself i feel like kirby games over the years have always been like yes another yeah. kirby feels good agreed but this one has this one's special this one seems special from what i've heard from other people yeah it's that everyone's 3D. like oh this is serious yeah yeah i'm excited yeah, i wonder good. if i should play the demo or just get the game 
Hop into the game. Hop into the game. It, I don't think it's one of those where your save transfers, so okay. you're this close to release. Might as well wait. I okay, think. cool. <laughs> thank you for the kind words, Rafa. Thank yeah, you, thank you. Happy to have you here. Yeah, ta Taco, Taco Bell, Bell Diablo. Diablo. There it is. And Kojiro is here. What's up? Snake. Snake. Stella. <laughs> close. Close. It looks gorgeous, uh, Kirby. The Kirby game. It, yeah, it really it does. does. It's like, yeah. this is a Kirby game? Yeah. And not that, not that I have low expectations, but it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. just Kirby. All these um, mainstay franchises trying new stuff. Yeah. Feels love good. it. Big yeah. Mouth m mode? No. Mouthful mode. Mouthful mode. I yeah. keep saying big Even mouth funnier. mode. Mouthful mode. What a what a treat. What a treat. Um, Panda Express fries. Yeah, sauces. yeah. Panda Express fries. I don't know what that would be. Yeah. Sweet chili, maybe. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't like sweet chili. Or Panda Express orange chicken sauce. Oh, orange orange fries. Orange fries sauce. <laughs> and Johnny's here. Hey, hey, Johnny, you made it. Wow, I can't believe I've missed no snake eating. Because we're a little late. <laughs> we're a little late. We're good. We're good. Fry sauce, my only touchstone for Kirby is Smash Bros. Mm. That was my first. That's probably the same case for like some other franchises for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Like Fire Emblem. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I feel like maybe even every every franchise except for Pokemon. Really? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me. For you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, Rathor says the demo gets you codes to use in game, like if you beat it kind of thing. For like extra stuff. Oh, so you're rewarded for playing the demo. Oh, dude, there That's we sweet. go. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. That's smart. Smart. But we're um, here. We're ready. Yeah, we're here. We're um hoping to finish Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater tonight. Again, right. we are playing on an original PlayStation 2. So sweet. Here is Snake Eater, but we're actually playing the subsistence version. I know um, who that is now. No, no spoilers. We, oh, again... Do I not know who we that is? We are not committing to more and more Metal Gear Solid. It really depends on how we feel. I know we said the same at the end of Metal Gear Solid 1, and then the same at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2, but it really depends on how we feel. <laughs> we just don't want to promise. We don't want to promise, but man, are you excited. <laughs> yeah, can't deny it. Uh, Captain Falcon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. I, F Zero. Most, I haven't really played any F Zero. Me again. neither. Me neither. Um. I've heard one person say they didn't even know what Metal Gear was. Oh. Only New Snake was in Smash. Whoa. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding. I can believe that sadly about F Zero, but Metal Gear. Yeah, yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. When I was when I said that, I meant for the first Smash game. Sure. Games after that, definitely. Um oh, well there's You uh, had well, more cultural awareness of, of games. Oh well I mean, uh, uh oh yes. But um even if I knew the character going in, um, I didn't necessarily play the game. Oh, you didn't have the before. experience. You were just had Smash. familiarity with the yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, 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 no. I was just uh, reading chat. Yeah, Metal Gear Acid next. Shall we? Um, <laughs> no. If you, you want to play it, yeah. No, no, no. I'm good. I Do don't. You, um, <laughs> shall we hop into just a quick recap? Quick recap. Let's do it. Let's just say, where are we right now? What mo what most recently happened? Um, I I wrote stuff down, but I'm like all over the place now. But I believe, um, I believe most of Cobra Unit is dead. Yes. Um, except for Joy. The Joy, yeah. Who is um boss? Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's kind of where we are. Mm -hmm. Um, we we fought. Um, we fought them um including the sorrow who was not considered one of yeah, the five we, that we was really the cool sorrow and uh, the pain that was so was cool not the pain the um, fury the, the fury. fury yeah the flame soldier mm -hmm. um but the sorrow fight was so so cool yeah um it was an experience for sure yeah sokolov is dead sokolov is dead we only heard it because we had a bag on our heads at the time yes we also saw that uh granin is dead we saw that Granin is dead. But he has some kind of tape recorder in his shoe. Some suspicions cast a transmitter. upon everywhere. Right? Upon everyone, yeah. And then um, some friction between Ocelot and Volgan. Mm -hmm. Volgan is really just blow everything up. Ocelot has concern for his countrymen, even though they're adversaries. Right. Right. Um, we learned a little bit more about the Shagohod. Yep. <laughs> I wrote... 300 miles per hour shoots missile. 
Yeah. <laughs> so in order to launch its ICBM from a short runway, yeah, they equipped the vehicle itself with a rocket to accelerate it and use that initial so momentum crazy. to then launch the rocket. Yeah. To increase its range. Oh, that's what it was. So I wrote 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. Yeah, the range is increased. And that's that so, much. so their plan for the, the for this test, with the phase two test, right? Is yeah. did they, they wanted sure it to works. Did they want to shoot a missile at the U.S.? I don't know if that was implied. This was just purely a test to um, then move into production. Oh. Okay. They want to make more and deploy them. Okay. Okay. Cool. We get caught as we were trying to use um, Ivan Rydenovich Rykov's yes. likeness. Mm -hmm. We get grabbed in the crotch. And um, we have Volgan sees right or feels right through us. Yes, feels right through us. In many, in, a, in different ways. Um, so that's how we get caught. Yeah. Torture scene. Torture scene. Everyone's there. Everyone's in the room with Everyone's quick glances there, at each other. Including Ava, who we find, who we confirm is, uh, is Tanya, Tanya slash Tatiana in disguise. Yeah. Um, and and Ocelot kind of starts to threaten Tanya. Yeah, like who are you? Mm -hmm. And then notices her smell. Her smell. Uh huh. So he he's doing his Russian roulette like juggling routine. Yeah. And uh, our snake, naked snake. Snake. Uh, kicks the gun and and gets hit in the in, in the, the face. Eye. Pretty so, intense. Yeah, yeah. Um, Transmitter in the back from Ocelot. Yeah. We get shot in the thigh by the boss. Yep. She gives us that um death pill. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that kind of confirms that the boss is still looking out for us. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. And she even says stuff into our ear. I forgot, but she gives us run. She run. says run. run. There it is. There's um, What's up, Jupi Barra? Thanks for being here. Hey, Jupi, how's it going? Um, so yeah, it, boss is still looking out for us. I, because even before that, you can kind of feel like, no, let me, let me, you know, let me punish him. He's my yeah. student. So it kind of felt like she was stepping in so that you know Snake wouldn't get too hurt. Mm -hmm. um, when when we get ca caught by Volgan, though, she does like kind of excuse herself. So at that moment, I was like. Is she, you know, is she just still trying to save face or is she, um, or not save face? Is Leading she up to that, she had like command of the room. But then when the torturing happened, I think she just didn't want to see it. Yeah. So she is, couldn't stomach it maybe. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, probably. So I think, I'm not sure. Now it's still, is she with the Russian, the Russians? The Gru. The, the Gru. Or right now it's Gru versus um, KGB. Yeah, or is she still playing um, both sides? I mean, she Great did. Questions. She did say that thing where uh, the um, the U.S. is after the philosopher's legacy, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh. I yeah, think. Volgan even says that you're after the legacy, aren't you? Yeah. At, at this point, I almost feel I almost feel like yes, people are after the legacy. Yeah. Like no one. But that's not on our mission list. No. But but it's growing I, suspicious. Yeah, I'm like this is not about the Shagohad. This is not about you know all those things. I think this is all leading up to people wanting the money somehow. I don't know. I just I just have that feeling because mm. that's a lot of money that they're sitting yeah. on. And yeah. So um, when when Boss said that, I was like, that's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. Things are connecting. Sure. Yeah. Things are connecting. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Lale lu lay low. Come on now. <laughs> yes, that's right. Ava never said it. Ava never said it. Yeah, in our what second stream, maybe first stream, I think. Actually. Yeah, I'm like, is Ocelot gonna come out with the lale lu lay low? Who I don't knows? know. Audrey has all kinds don't of tell me. thoughts swirling around. Volgan stuck a transmitter and snake. La Bamba, I think it was Ocelot in our back. But um, thanks to y'all's recommendation. Yes, we Ava left got it, in, it out. We, we remember got that, that Easter egg scene. Yeah, we could have gotten it out ourselves, but uh, we let Ava take take that one for us. Um, so yeah, I think we're still in that cave, and now it's time to head out, right? Yeah, so we just had a scene with um, Ava. Yeah, and she said this. She, I don't know. She, she, she showed like a little bit of herself about her. Not yeah. literally. Audrey's like, still highly suspicious of Ava though because yeah, her job is to be an actor. Yeah, and and they've shown us like some scenes or at least one scene where she's like doing something on the side, you know without snake seeing she's calling somebody maybe that's her trying to keep up appearances but yeah we haven't seen that since though right 
We haven't seen that since, but once was enough. Once was enough. Yeah. Can't forget it. So. I'm glad you didn't forget it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope it's intentional that she said she never gave the code. Because. Because. Mm. I, 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 I'm just carrying this feeling. I've been carrying this feeling ever since that moment. Yeah. Good. Like, there's no way she's who she says she is. I'm glad you still remember the details, even though we're playing this once a week. That's that's really good. Yeah. Some moments stuck out for sure. Yeah. For sure to me. Um, yeah. Those yeah. are the important ones to remember. Let's hop in. Yes. I also had this thought um, that the boss and the sorrow um ended up separating yeah we got a little lore yeah we got after the war right after the war and then um they ended up being on opposing sides after the war yeah they meet up again and they're they're enemies or i don't know if enemy is the right word they're on opposing sides yeah and so they i mean she kills him yeah so i don't know is this gonna be a situation nearby it just, too nearby it just feels to where, yeah. like History tends to have a way of repeating itself, so scary. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. Okay. Um, is it still Metal Gear Sus then? No. Well, well, well. Maybe this is all still culminating to Metal Gear. You know, the way that we know it from Metal Gear One and Two. Mm -hmm. But at this moment, it feels. It's not about the Shago Hod. And I and I'm remembering now in the mm. last stream when um Volgan says where the legacy is, where the money is. Um uh, uh -huh. there's a moment where Ava kinda looks at the boss. Was that that, that yeah, moment? A and lot of really important seeming looks at each other. The looks. We yeah. didn't get that in the first two games. Um, maybe because of you know, the nature of the technology. You, maybe you can't really sure, convey that kind mean, of yeah. stuff. Oh, actually, in the second game, I suppose you could. Um, but I, I'm noticing, so maybe Ava and... Um, I don't know. That would be pretty awesome if Ava and the, and the boss are on another team. I don't know. Good thoughts, good thoughts. So the place is on lockdown now. We still have objective number two, which is to identify and destroy the Shagahad. That's actually the option right now. There's two gigantic, in the warehouse, two gigantic containers of the fuel for the <sighs> Shagahad right. because it needs that rocket fuel in order to accelerate. Yeah. Our objective is to place um, these C3. plastic explosives. That's right. Four of them. Very specific locations and then blow it all up. Yeah. That's still the objective. Oh, Acid is technically the, the next game released after Metal Gear Solid that's 3. That's right, that's right. And I just want to say it right here. We've had a lot of people with really wonderful comments about their experience with the series and their personal preferred way of mm. playing. Yeah. And some people have said maybe consider playing them in this order and this and that. We've just decided ahead of time that if we were going to play this series, we would play it in release order. Release order. Yeah. And me knowing what's coming in some of the future games, I agree with that. Kay. Especially for a first cool. playthrough for Audrey. It, yeah, Grozny Grad, not a safe place for scientists. Yeah. No, both of the uh, both of the weapon scientists are dead. Yep. To be fair, those scientists are both betraying the Soviet Union in their own ways. That is correct, Johnny. Sure. But man, did they? The way they went was intense getting like shocked in that barrel over over and over just yeah. fried that you way didn't re like he was messed up you didn't even recognize who it was no i i didn't and then we didn't even get to see Ooh, our way back is way back. blocked now. oh damn oh Where's eyes? That was blue. Snake's eyes. Perhaps I don't remember. I'm just no. I think I'm. Did it? Did someone remark on that? Actually, I uh, did I? I'm just. I'm just noticing it again. Maybe. Okay, let's just check the camo real quick. 
<laughs> Blossom, I really hope you're safe discussing this on an unsecure line. Yep, yep. We're risking it today. Yeah, we are. May yeah, well, maybe we'll have to go into secure line later. Yeah, Audrey will let us know. She even said lale lule lo. I did. Oh, God. The Patriots have entered the chat. <laughs> oh, snake diving off the sewers, I believe, is a reference to the movie The Fugitive. That's the one I was talking about. Okay, I think I remember... I didn't say it last time. You... Were, you said it uh, you said it was a reference but i didn't i don't think i know the film oh, our equipment's yeah. all messed up kojima sorry. loves american cinema yeah oh yeah dude the fugitive good movie shifty eyes the game <laughs> i love their shifty eyes okay, what do we like the do boss communicates the a lot with her eyes oh absolutely i mean they weren't able to do this with ps1 but no. ps2 so cinematic with their games there's a good amount of foreshadowing in Metal Gear Solid 2, but it's more subtle. Mostly just in the dialogue. Okay. What do we want here? I think Metal Gear Solid oh. 2 probably truly did want you to realize who the who uh, earlier who the ninja is, but didn't figure it out as much. Ah. I see that, but Audrey did not catch on uh -oh. immediately. I did not. Time. Well, I mean, when it, you had when suspicions, and then you like tricked yourself yeah. out of it. I, the only I had suspicions solely on the um, accent. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, that was it. Release order is always best order. Always play games in release order. Sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, I get um. What I appreciate is that everyone has a lot of different opinions on that. Yeah. 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 Another ladder. What a thrill. I did think that, Johnny, <laughs> when we were going up that ladder. It's like, hmm. Thermal goggles have been really good. Yeah, these uh, were not intended to be played out of release order. Yeah. I think, in general, we are a release order type. Yeah. We are the type. Because every new do. thing has all the stuff that came before it. Yeah. Potentially in mind. Although we did watch... Um, we do, we are watching some things with um, what is it like the fan like when we watch Star Wars Clone Wars, the show we watch the um, chronological that's chronological order yeah yeah yeah. Dude, were these even useful to us? Ah, like I've regrettably only seen two Star Wars movies, Episode Four and Three. Yeah, mm. weird choices, and I can only assume the prequels are meant to build on the originals. Huh. Star Wars. Uh, we actually recently we watched, not maybe not super recently, but when we did do a, a marathon of the Star Wars movies, we did a, a three, four. No, no, no. We did four, five, one, two, three. Six. Six yeah. type uh, viewing. There's order. a name for this particular order that I learned yeah. on the internet. <laughs> so, yeah, it was kind of cool. It was like, you know, these two movies back to back and then sort of like a prequel moment, one, two, three, and then back to the present time. Um, so, I, yeah, I guess I suppose we're not... Well, I mean, we had already seen all the movies at that point, but, um, yeah, not strict, super strict release order type thing. I see. To clarify, I meant the player can't figure it out as much because they couldn't oh, detail what? her Ooh. face as much as they probably Oh, the guy up here! Gotcha. Oh! His camo. His forest camo blended right into the... into the concrete. Kojudo, I really like the Snake Eater song. Me too. I'm wondering if we're gonna get if, if we're gonna get it again yeah, here. Dude. Ooh, the the puppies. What are we doing? Kicking puppies in the face! Oh no. Every ladder in Elden Ring I sing. What a thrill. Now me for every ladder in every game. <laughs> this is chaos. Every week I gotta relearn the controls and everything. CQC, basic CQC. I know, I know, I know. You doing Stop. good? This guy's hitting hard. Yeah, that guy just shielded you. I'm trying to freaking kick this dog. 
There. There you go. Um, this has been doing their Steel Soul playthrough. And oh, nice. Realize I keep fighting bosses with the Compass and Gathering Swarm on still. Uh, we don't need those. No. But it's so, it's so, I find myself getting lost if I Where don't am have I getting it. shot from? Up there? Yeah. Remember the right side of the screen is dark? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's it's very subtle. It's not enough to like break the game, but it's enough to make you notice. I, I do like that. Ah, BK says there's one hint which I believe Anthony already knows about. I think it would enhance your game experience if you'd like. A hint about what is it a gameplay yeah. thing that I'm like forgetting or don't know how to play? Yeah, BK, if you want to clarify um, a little bit about what you mean, would love to hear it. Like, yeah, Kojudo, you kicked the dog. Kicked we the didn't. Dog. Uh, Naked Snake did. Dang, I totally forgot where we're going. We're going in here. Yeah, <laughs> try to remember the twenty-first of September, Snake. <laughs> Badaya, Snake. He no. had. Uh, BK Fire Sauce says an item. An item. Yeah, if it's hint. a reminder about something we've very likely forgotten. Um, let's think. Is this some sort of camo that you could be using so you don't get caught? I mean, I chose the ideal or the, the most ideal camo for here. Okay. Yeah, Devil That Cries, do you remember what tomorrow is? Do you know April 30th? <laughs> yeah, not quite do you know what day it is I'm today. I'm already going exactly. the wrong way. I remember now. <laughs> I thought you were going to say we did and Anthony did. That's also true. I didn't do anything. Am I guilty? Maybe. All right, so it's in the main building. That's right. Checking the calendar, April 30th is a Saturday. Metal Gear Solid 2 VR missions on that day. Oh. Blossom looking ahead. That is so funny. No, IRL stream at the Washington Monument on April 30th. It's something yet to be obtained, but is near. Oh. If it's not out of our way too much, feel free to give me a hint about where to go. Otherwise, I will likely miss it. I don't. I haven't played this game very many times, so I don't think I know what you're talking about specifically. On the double. Whoa. Dude. Thanks for letting us know. What are they shooting at? No, yeah, what are. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, what? Move. Maybe he's just practicing. Yeah, he's practicing his his crouches and he's practicing his shooting in there. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice. Yeah, God, I love the idea. Speedrunning Metal Gear Solid 2 live at Washington Square. Whoa. <gasps> That's intense. And happy Wednesday to you, Big Dingy. How are hey, you doing? Hey, what's up, Big Dingy? Love the happy Wednesday. Uh, Fry Sauce says, I'll just say lockers. Okay. And you said in an upcoming area, right? It is near. Okay. Fry Sauce, he's doing the Gears of War crouch run. That one NPC. Yeah. We can't do that. I wish we could do that. What? Crouch run? Crouch run? Yeah. We can only crouch... Crouch slow. So we can't. Crawl. We can't move. Can't move. Yeah, oh, you, you can't. either crawl or yeah. stand up fully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rafa re remembers now. <laughs> yeah, thank you for putting it in uh, such a non-spoilery way. Okay, should we put on? Can we put on the uh, Rydanovich? Or are I mean, we? Is that gonna work here? I don't know. Are okay, people maybe on high not. alert for us right now? Or scientists wear? Yeah, maybe that at least. Lockers? Do we do we get to kiss some posters? Oh boy. I mean, might as well, right? In that case, I want my uh. Uh, the colonel's still hanging out in there. Oh. Oh, in the locker? Oh, because we put him in a locker. That's right. That's so funny. Hmm. 
The cigarette gas spray. Remember how good that was? Yeah. Okay. Or major, whatever he was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Let's I don't check even. There, I don't then. even remember. Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Was it this one? I thought it was one that looked different. Maybe it no longer looks different. Oh. Yeah, Raiden. Yep. That was a cute moment. Oops. Just fix my glasses real quick. Uh, Suppressor, I think. Ah. Uh, Looks like a ration. Pretty sweet. Is it one of these? These are the only lockers I can really remember. Oh, that's the one. Did you see the one? No, I didn't. Okay, you'll see it when we get there. Okay. Maintenance oh. uniform. Oh, we'll need that. We will. Right? That's probably what um, Fry. I'm thinking that's what Fry Sauce was talking about. Like this will help. This is not required, but it'll help. Yeah, because we don't have to sneak as hard hey. as we're trying to plant the C3, right? Maybe this that's is my the guess. Thing. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh, this. I see it now. Nice. What do we get here? <gasps> Sneaking <laughs> uniform. Look at this. That's cute. Can we kiss it? I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> Let's try. Yes. Whoa. Wait, who? Oh, developed by the USSR. Oh, this is like a new sneaking. Dude, doesn't it look like a, it's the black version of the bosses? <gasps> right? It. It is, right? Yeah, pretty sweet. No way. Pretty sweet. This sneaking suit is badass. Right. Dude. What do we do again? <laughs> it was both buttons at the same time or something. Did we just punch it? That was more aggressive. All right. <laughs> That's the one. Nice. How cool. I love that it's like a black version of the suit. Yeah. Just that, you know. That um, right. opposite color. Going through here now. All right, I'm guessing we can just uh, we can just put on the um. Devil thought that was only a clear game reward. Oh, we cleared it. Yeah. It's a uh, it's an advance an advance on our clear game. Here we go. It's also very beneficial because of its effect. Ooh, okay. We'll have to look at the effect again. <clears throat> Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed phase two Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. What's up, Solid Snake? Hey, Solid Snake. We've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War mm -hmm. into a blazing hot one. Mm -hmm. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. I'm ready. Yo, like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Okay. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure. She not made to plant C3 it sound else. like it was like a malleable Good, thing. It is. It is. Is this yeah. a real um like a nasty explosive? Going off at the I think so. Shot. So don't go using oh. any heavy firepower near the tanks unless How you're does it aiming ignite? to get yourself barbecued. I think we have. She said something about a 10-minute thing or something. Oh. all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. Maybe I'm remembering so wrong. So if I were okay. you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start okay, the timer. Okay, so there we go. Again. There it is. All right. Okay. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. 
Once the timer set, 20 minutes. you've got 20 minutes until it explodes. Right? Triple hydrate from pain. What's up? Pain. So sure Thank you so much you for the triple hydrate. That place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. Thanks, counting pain. on you, Snake. Um, thanks I'm going to check pain. the description on the uh, stuff. The Major loves reminding Snake about the boss. That's like the fifth or sixth yeah. time. Yeah. Wait, should I... Maybe, maybe I'm getting a weird vibe from... From Major Zero. No, I, I feel like I've... I've kind of... <gasps> what? Wait, huh? Oh, cuts all damage in half? Dude. And reduces? damage. Stamina consumption. Whoa. What? I mean, Wait, what is the downside? Pretty? It's like not... It's like an average across all oh, different kinds of okay. zones, right? Yeah. But when we're in battle, switch to the sneaking. Does it seem like that? Yeah. When when we're no longer sneaking, put on the sneaking suit. Okay. I, no one know, told us about this. Now that I'm looking have. at the suit, it looks kind of like those uh, air duct like uh, cylinder things in the air conditioning, like those like, oh. tubes that like. The circle. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> kind of thing. Um Yeah, two games in one week with half damage reduction. I'm yeah. into it. Now we need a double damage gun. Okay, I'm assuming we're in the right place right now. Shall we save? <laughs> uh Jimmy, how's it going? C three is a real thing. Seventy seven percent RDX. And twenty three percent plastic explosive uh visor according to Wikipedia. Wow, okay. Man, I know nothing about explosives. Explosives? I'm, I guess I'm glad. Is that <laughs> comforting? I, I mean, I, I'd like to know. I feel like this is like a rabbit, a Wikipedia rabbit hole. I could spend yeah. a lot of time on just. For you're on a list now. Oh Sailor God! Jimmy, you're on a list I right already now. said lolly lule lo. Yeah, Sailor Jimmy, you're on the FBI list. Yeah. <laughs> Oops! Dang! I keep pressing the button. I think have you seen Earth versus the Spider? Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? Told you it's suddenly mutated. Yeah, right. Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Always nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Honestly, why even bother? Look, the important thing isn't that it got big. Then what is important? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. Yeah, I feel like... Paramedic is Hideo Kojima's favorite character. Oh, <laughs> all the movie references? Yeah. It's always like giant monster stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, true. Not always, uh, but there's a lot of it, right? Fuel up top? Um, we probably can't get too close to these other maintenance workers, huh? Because they'll be like, you're not supposed to be Probably. Here. I don't think this connects. Yeah, it's only half damage? Yeah. Yeah, Audrey does sound disappointed. Why don't I know more about C3? <laughs> Feel... I, I don't feel equipped for this uh, for this game. I don't know anything so about one firearms. Fuel thing over there. Nothing. One over there. Two over there, actually. There's one over here. Okay. If you mix chlorine and hydrogen peroxide, Jimmy. Wait, what happens? I don't even know. <laughs> and tonight on is this real or is this Kojima? We have C three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I find myself asking that a lot. Man, we can just freely walk around this place with this. This, this is stuff. sweet. It is. <laughs> hey, Clacy. <laughs> what up? Damn sake, got that dong. We notice a butt. This is the first time we notice a butt in this game, I think. What? You know, because in Metal Gear Solid 1, we had to notice the, the butt oh, of the, sure, you're the right, person you're right, walking. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. And then in Metal Gear Solid 2, we had a little bit of a naked moment. That's right. So, Clacy, thank you so much for your okay, perspective. Your DS, real quick. <laughs> okay. One might say he is dummy thick. I hope I did that right. Uh, why is it beeping? Wait, uh, that's I didn't not put it on, on it, it though. Yeah, that's not right. Is that gonna be a problem? That's gonna be a problem. He said. He said, "Don't f this up." What? How do I put it on it? <laughs> do I need to lean up against it? Dude, I messed up the other one then. Uh-oh. Snake? Eva. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some Oh, yeah. 
I've There's also a wig. Seen the escape route over That's right. There. Everything's going on your end. I just finished planting the second charge. Okay, so it counts. It counts. Two. Okay, cool. I'll be waiting. Well, we placed it, but it, did we place it correctly? We'll find out. Okay. Um. Gotcha, Sailor Jimmy. It does nothing. Whew. Because I have those cleaning chemicals. I don't want to create an explosive on accident. Yeah, <laughs> always. That's what I'm here for. I mean, C4 is real. I'm guessing C3 is an early version of it. Yeah, that's why I was like, I know C4 by its name. So I didn't know if there was like Kay. different levels. That's what I was thinking, La Bamba. I'd have to crawl to grab it, but I think it worked out. Oh, good call. Well, if it doesn't work out, we'll get a bad ending, and that'll be interesting too. Oh, the heart-shaped one. Oh, I forgot about that. This game has moments that feel very anime. <gasps> oh. What does that represent? I feel like that means something. Gotcha this time. Gotcha this time. Is that a reference to something? Uh, maybe I'm forgetting? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Yeah, the whole Metal Gear Solid series should be an anime. I'd love to see that. That would be interesting. What is he doing? With the maintenance gear on, too? Snake! Oh, no. Oh, I thought they were looking at a different snake or something. I was about to... Wait, did she get caught in the time? Oh, she... I, I mean, she must have gotten my caught. my gear. Look at this. Yeah. Why'd you come back? Yeah. Her eyes. Look she at her eyes. To leave. You can see it, right? She's, she has a sadness. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Snake, Snake has not won an encounter with the boss yeah. in this game. She's so strong! Just her physical strength and her technique. Uh, that probably plays a big part, but... What? 13, 13 minutes, minutes left. Oh. The wait, why is the sorrow still kind of present? This is crazy. I mean, I guess we didn't really kill him. He's already dead, yeah. but yeah, we didn't really do it. Yeah. But why? Aye, aye, the, aye. the sorrow is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Spirit medium soldier. I wonder if we'll find out why he's like kind of helping us. Yeah, Clacy, for the duo streams, we choose easy because we're here just, just for the this story. This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. <gasps> when she was captured, look what we found on her. Oh, the philosopher's legacy. Oh, that's what that means? This microfilm contains all the information 12, regarding the legacy. What is this? Contains what all the information about the legacy. Is okay. The philosopher's legacy. Like all the bank numbers and stuff. Uh, 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 he I mentioned see, it before. It was the smell that gave her away. No, what does she smell like? Yeah. Not the perfume. The ammo? It or was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. Hmm. We found this radio along with her too. <gasps> Who was she calling? It wasn't them. Such a fine woman she was. Uh oh, I lost the game. Oh, I'm losing gone? the game. 
I lost the game. It oh, it's back. It's back. You're good. Yeah, it, it, I think it, it cut out on the stream too. Oh, it's cutting oh. out on the stream too. Still. Shoot. Yeah. I can't pause these. <laughs> Can I? It's like no, cutting in and out. It. I just skipped it. Uh oh, you did. Yeah, I mean, we just During had a save. The last great war, the uh oh. Most All right, switch to. Uh, okay, hold on. <gasps> Hopefully, we won't have any more problems. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I have one more troubleshooting step if it happens again. Oh, the slightly disappointing thing is these hardbacks don't have the four panel gag stuff. Yeah, I. Yeah, this is where we are, right? Oh, yeah, this is where we are. Okay, I'm going to pay attention here. This woman was found snooping around my underground. And we'll let it play cuz I don't know when she was captured. If I skip where it'll skip to. Her. Okay. If that's okay. The philosopher's legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. Sorrow isn't wearing his jacket anymore, I just noticed. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. Is motorcycle she gasoline different it. from... No, oh, I don't know. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Goodbye, radio. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Oh. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Oh. Go to hell. How does it work? You dirty whore. I've had enough kisses from you. R1? Should have known. R1? Oh, Sokolov my bad. Sokolov wasn't man enough okay. to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. <laughs> Classic it. villain. Yeah. Right? yeah. Tell us your whole secret plan. During the last great war, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. Mm -hmm. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects, enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the Philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up, and 
wandered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. Very nice. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. Okay, so this I was is forced why. to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. Okay. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. Ooh. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. Suggested? The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. Love these photos. The world was once one. Oh, was that the boss? War photos? The conflict oh. between the, the end on the right. Has torn it in two. <gasps> We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. It's the whole gang. Pretty cool. Love these old war photos they have. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Um... Yeah, don't F with me. That look. Take good care of it. Who? The boss's look to him. She just stuck it in her he back pocket. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Do you know the boss's real name? Leave everything to me. I don't think we do. Fight like a warrior, Vulgan. But of course. What are these looks? I know so many looks. Oh. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Here we go. Time to get even. We still good? No cutouts? Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. Also what? Ah ah ah. No more judo and no more field strips. Just guns? What are field strips? Well, I don't know what he means by that. The sound. Enough of this. <gasps> what? Two versus one? He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Oh, Got field it? stripping is basically Please disassembling throw. a weapon. Let That's right. Gotcha. He's done that, yeah. Ocelot doesn't like this. Dude, these two are going to fight right now. Oh, yeah, they've never... Here we go. Wait. Oh, what, what is that? 
Seven minutes? Dude. That's the C3, right? Warning about the C3? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, he's using his electricity to uh, fire those rounds. Yeah, so yeah. Scary. He had Let's been doing that before, started, right? Yeah. When he had him. But he was like punching also. Ah! Dude. This is a once in a lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. We're gonna fight in like a pit. <laughs> Dude. This is gonna go super sane real quick. Dude! <laughs> With the ammo like yeah. strapped around his body like that? It's just you and me now. Oh, dude! What? Is Ocelot gonna help us? No, he. he... You hear the, the song? song, the theme. MGS2. Yeah. He's gonna throw his. Ocelot is so interesting. Dude, the music's so good. We're. It... It's not because he's on our side. It's because he wants to. He wants it to be a fair fight. Yeah. And he wa and he wants it and he wants to fight Snake. He does. He wants to s see Snake the victor here. I gotta change my gear. Yeah, I was gonna say you look kind of silly in that. Uh, yeah, the maintenance. <laughs> in that outfit. Son of the boss. Okay, wait. That's not literal. Like that's just you know because they say they're all her children, right? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta change the gear. We got the new <gasps> thing. Ammo sash for the win. Love his drip, Droopy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, dude. He did. He, he just um, he hulked out of his outfit and just yeah. burned it off. Yeah, pretty cool, dude. So shifty eyes. That's what I'm saying. This will be a gun juggling contest. Yeah, motion controls. Was missing a good rar from Ocelot. Maybe we'll get one later. Um, and yes, Foxhound, thank you for uh, thank you for telling us what field tripping was. Had never heard that term before, but it it makes sense. Does he really want me to put away my gun? Should have tossed Snake some better clothes, Ocelot. We we made the switch. Now we're wearing our sneaking uh, our sneaking suit. Okay. Surprised Vulcan was okay with that gun and knife toss. I have a feeling they've probably been, I mean, even from what we've seen, they, they've kind of been at odds with a lot of the this. decisions. So maybe it's not out of character yeah. completely for Ocelot to kind of, wait, why does Ocelot have a health? Oh, that's what he's doing. I remember now. Ocelot has ammo. I mean, we usually see Ocelot with the with the okay. how much ammo he has, but why does he have his health out? Yeah, when the U.S. forces fail, they send the cleaners. Sending the cleaners in to clean up. Banger, yeah, Foxhound. This still does not seem like a fair fight. This guy is channeling the power of electricity. Somehow. I still don't understand where he's getting this. Is this a back away situation? We have like no cover. Oh, dude. Now we're injured. Oh. Oh, Ocelot shot, shot at him? Oh, did I just throw up? Did okay. you just throw up? I'm injured too. Oh. Uh, Vulcan is a Sith Lord confirmed. Fracture. Okay. Unlimited power. Uh, Would love to hear that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. 
Yeah, solid snake. Anthony, remember the basics of CQ. Ah, oh, fox. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Volga truly does have God and anime on his side. <laughs> It is, Johnny. Just give me a chance to uh, fail once at least, guys. Time's become a slight issue. Okay, okay, yeah. Don't worry, we'll figure it we'll figure it out on the second try. What is what is it that uh Vulcan says? Kuwabara Kuwabara or something yeah. like that. Which I didn't realize at the time. I think someone chat maybe clarified it's like a Is it relating to something with like It's to ward away. Like cl uh, storm clouds? Storm? Something. I looked it up and I yeah. told you, but I don't remember now. Nice. Oh. Me and Ocelot. Okay. On the Did same something. page. Phase two? Probably. Not trying to rush you, Johnny. We, we know, we know. Yeah, Vulcan is just trying to tell us his favorite Yu Yu Hakusho character. <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first. Um, when when I when someone said it in chat, I didn't realize they were quoting a Vulcan. Him. Whoa, dishonorable. Yeah. Do you hear me? I said shoot him. Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? Here we go. I made a promise to the boss. <gasps> Oh, what was the promise? I am your commanding officer. Hey. Did any of them get through? <gasps> Wait, what? Are you questioning my authority? They made a pr he made a promise to the boss? We don't know this promise. Yeah, I don't recall. But maybe that's why they exchanged looks when she was on the way out. Fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? Oh! <laughs> I love that. Ocelot, find those bombs. Move it! Huh. The hands always. This yeah. thing. He keeps doing that gesture every time. Yeah. I iconic. Ready for some more snake. Okay. Ocelot. Low on time. We'll stay around forever. Just a reminder, you all, this is Audrey's first time for everything. No spoilers, no. please. Oh, no spoilers. Okay, no spoilers. Just a reminder. Yeah. Gunshot um, wound. Okay. Yeah, Cactor. Sorry, Colonel. I cannot create a time paradox. No. Nope. Exactly. Hey, Kessler. Yeah, you tell him, Ocelot. Don't get bullied. And thanks for being here, Kessler. Thing. Talk with the hand, exactly. What is this one? Another gunshot wound. Uh, BK has another hint that will enhance your experience more. It will lead to things you may not experience otherwise. Um, I'm going to be honest. The Easter egg we saw last time with removing the transmitter, I did not want to have that. Oh, okay. So okay. if it's any like thing that changes the tone, mm. dramatically shifts the tone of what's going on with the story, like a goofy Easter egg. Yeah don't really want that okay but if it's a gameplay thing that'll make it easier for us so we don't mess up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i'm okay with that kissing posters in in the locker i'll do that okay that's not during a cutscene. okay cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. time to fight pikachu's swole child this yeah is we, more this same. is a uh, lieutenant surge here. is lieutenant surge the uh electric gym can't tell if lowercase snake in dialogue is grammar mistake or Vulcan is actually calling you a lowly vermin now. I think he's going with the lowly vermin. 
here, so let's take Vulcan. Shoot him, Ocelot. I'm more afraid of the boss. <laughs> than you. But yeah, fight your own battle. <laughs> I don't think there's any Easter oh. eggs like that left, La Bamba. That's good. Oh, Cold War uniform? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Uh, oh. I it just gave us time, I think, to grab the oh, item I see, he dropped. I see. Sure, Fry Sauce, go ahead then. Yeah, Fry Sauce, thank you so much for asking again. Appreciate asking first. Yeah, always so considerate. Um, and yeah, if you would like to share, please. Thank you, Foxhound. Yeah, great job, Anthony. Thank you, everyone. That is hairline or faster. Uh, uh, this way. Looks like grape jelly. <laughs> Everybody run. Oh, let's just say the game doesn't always tell you when to press R1. Okay, fry sauce, thank you. Okay. Thanks for All being right. here. I'll keep my hands on the controller uh, and I'll try to press it periodically. Jalapeno. I appreciate the way you worded that hint. It really feels like now I, I get more and more of this feeling. It's all about Ocelot and Snake. Oh, you feel it? And their it? um, it's not their relationship. Yeah, the interactions are certainly interesting. They're so interesting. In. <gasps> Dude, she's always like ready to go. Yeah. Step on it. Yes! Riding away from an explosion. Jet fuel. Yeah. Don't give up! Get moving! Oh, this is sad. Eva. How did you? The boss let me go. The boss? But why? I'll tell you later. Right now, we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me? Hmm. I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Mm -hmm. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Posture check from pain, thank you. Ready to go? That was what she said. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. Yeah. Okay. Go hard. Wow, it really has a Metal Gear vibe. Five frames a second right there. Even though it's not Metal Gear made. Yeah. It's a Granin. Vulcan? There is no escape. We failed. Not good. Hold on tight. I don't mind it though, Fox Sound. It's it's part of the vibes. 
<laughs> it makes it more cinematic. The low frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it more, yeah, we're, we're uh, 24 yeah. frames per second. Cinematic. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm Ava? trying to remember if we need anything for this. Okay. Like, I don't think we have stinger missiles, do we? But I don't need that. Can you... C is the stinger missile the one that you control? Oh, we got this. <laughs> you got to use the big guns? That's what it feels like. What if you didn't pick that up, then? I don't know. I genuinely don't... Oh, we have infinite ammo on everything. What? Why? Holy cow. For this sequence. Oh, really? We're not going to go for the um, the non-lethal oh. method? Uh, oh, there's 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 uh, grunts here. Over here. Ah. Yeah, not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. The OG PS2 experience. It really is. The joys of playing on original hardware. Yep. <laughs> what if we made something like the Jeep Chase from Metal Gear Solid 1 again, but better to play in every way? I remember that Jeep part! Woo. Yeah, this is an on-rail shooter at this point. Oh, so you're not driving? No, no, no. Not oh, at all. okay. Yeah. Sorry for motion sickness city for you. You're good, you're good. This would be fun to play with one of those gun controllers. Oh, I'm getting definitely. like a time crisis vibe here. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, Blossom just said it. Honestly, we could use a Metal Gear rail shooter like time crisis. I'm feeling it. Even the even what? the the call outs oh. are and, and these like cutscene things. Yeah, I'm really feeling that arcade shooter. These mechanics are so advanced, Kessler said. She's just driving around these familiar zones, dodging it. Yeah. Look at it, just knocking around these tanks. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Snake looks too casual standing on this thing. He's too cool. He's too cool. I wonder, would having one eye make motion sickness worse or better? Oh, good question. Great question. Imagine if every single country has some type of Metal Gear, like uh, like in G Gundam, every country has their own. Uh, yeah, pretty much, huh? Yeah, has their own uh, Gundam. G Gundam is my favorite Gundam uh, series, by the way. I can't shake him. The RPG can't put a dent in that armor. Let's head for the rail bridge. Bridge? I thought you bring the C3. I did. We'll lure him onto the bridge. Oh. We'll along with it. Good plan. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. Oh, so this was like a survive as long as possible. <gasps> Ocelot. Okay, here we go. What is that? Like a long magazine thing? Uh, like a stock? Like a long, yeah. To brace himself. Oh. Man. Oh my god. So many things I going on right now. Love a motorcycle chase fight. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. We're not La Bamba, don't worry about it. The frogs. Oh gotcha. <laughs> yes! Yes, Jalapeno, Nether Gundam top tier design. I'm so with you, and I'm so glad you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, Raptor, no depth perception, think worse. Yeah, if you you're, you're, um, if you have a blindfold or an eye patch. Huh. Oh! This isn't over. No. We're trying to get to that bridge. Okay, 
so rude. Oh. <gasps> was that for Ocelot or was that for us? Or maybe Ooh. both. I feel like both. he saved Ocelot again. Feels like it. Ocelot, I think, and Ocelot hates that. He so hates it. I mean, we already spared him once. Get good, Ocelot. <laughs> He's trying. This section has to be inspired from the movie Kojima likes. I'm sure. Any game, any uh, movie with a motorcycle chase? He saved us a lot. Yeah, that's the feeling I get too. Little thank you, maybe. Yeah, you know, Ocelot's not the type. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? There's the frog. I saw it. <laughs> Got it. Steve McQueen's motorcycle chase in The Great Escape, oh. La Bamba says. This, are, you're saying that's the inspiration for this? I'm not familiar with that reference. No, we don't think uh, The Matrix, Motorcycle Highway. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Do we think uh, Hideo Kojima is a fan of The Matrix? Ooh, probably. Um, Ocelot's pride won't let him say thank you, just like Vegeta. I love I that comparison. I, I never even thought about that. And I don't think I've heard that before. Dude. A hind deep. Oh, is this the runway? Yeah. She said the bridge was on the other side of the runway, right? Y'all better get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Dude, Vulcan. Unhinged. Yeah. Vulcan has lost sight of the mission. He's just out for a. Uh, for blood. Pain in the ass, I think, has a message for you. If we miss it, Pain, feel free to post it on our Discord. Okay. We just don't want to miss any of this. Ooh, oh ooh thank God. you. Thank you, Pain. I will definitely save your message. Thanks again, Pain. Oh. And yeah, if ever... It's in getting in position. If ever we miss a message, feel free to bump it. Oh my God, look at that. Here we go. I appreciate they're giving us uh, infinite ammo for this section. Yeah. Imagine juggling ammo here. And he gave no Fs for his men. Yeah, I think. He's unhinged. He just wants to see Snake die at this point. This kind of has an ocelot brain. Oh, I can do that this whole time? What was it? Aim more precisely. <laughs> oh, 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 I see, I see. Like go into the site kind of thing. Look down the site. Yeah. Th this, um, this fight is actually really cool. This the setting right now, like kind of a big open runway. Yeah, definitely.
Way easier when I came. Yeah. And you can use any gun you want rather than that inaccurate turret That's on right, the from Jeep. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot about that uh, last part. Yeah, th this, this feels memorable. Just gonna charge on through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. There's that rocket engine. Ooh. Son of a bitch. That was a good. That was a really good. That was yeah. a really good. Um, son of a bitch. Not over. Oh, it's it's still not over. <laughs> Is this runway shorter or longer than the one in Fast Six? Haven't seen it, but I'm sure someone can chime in. Demolition Derby over here, yeah. There's something I should be doing. <laughs> Vulcan, Snake, it's not over yet. Snake, I'm not into you. Take the hint. We could say the same to, uh, same to Ocelot, maybe. Except maybe, maybe we're more into, uh, into, uh, our relationship with Ocelot. Oh, goodness. Right, this I is those, a survive situation. I thought those didn't have, um, like, those weren't homing, or they didn't have a location on it, or something. What? The missiles? Or I'm thinking, I'm thinking the big uh, nuclear missile, or, or whatever, on the Shagohod. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, because those missiles looked like they were coming at you, and I they was were. remembering I mean, those that were like smaller missiles, I think. Yeah, yeah, they were different. Yeah. They were a different kind. Not the one that they want to shoot at wherever. I thought they wanted to shoot one at the U.S. Or it's just that when the Shagrahad's doing its thing, it can shoot anywhere. So it's a threat. Yeah, but they were like, oh, how... how, uh, Or did we talk about, like, oh, how... How could it be accurate? And there was some talk about that. That's right. Like, oh, it's just it'll just land wherever it does or something. Good point. Yeah, he did say... That there was like no guidance systems or anything. Yeah, no guidance system. Is that the bridge? Snake, we've only got one chance. We'll lure him over towards the other side. When the shadow hot is on the bridge, shoot the explosives. <gasps> the Dude, they're giving me the sniper. Is that enough explosive? Oh, we're just gonna—we're just trying to drop it, not. And also it blow it up. But I don't, both. Trying the, to do both. If the jet fuel explosion didn't do anything. Yeah. I gotta snipe the explosives. Let's go. That seems to be the case. Do I have any of that like calming medicine? Oh, the, the anti-anxiety? Pumba. I like how we turn on the rocket engine and still can't catch them. Takes a while to rev up, maybe. Shagohot is nothing compared to Ava's motorcycle. Yeah, it's this pretty sweet. This is true. Yeah, it's her uh, her driving. I mean, she said it. She said she'll never get off the bike unless she's in love or dead. He wanted to pull a drift, but failed. <laughs> Don't call him out like that. This part is so cool. Totally agree, Johnny. I love how it uh, keeps ramping up, ramping up. 
It's like we're first we're stealthing. She's spotting too. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh it's like first we're stealthing through this uh I one through this base. And now we're doing a huge motorcycle chase. Oh, oh, she'll she'll tell us. We got it. Oh god. Okay. So so stressful. That was. You can stressful. hear her in our left ear too. Oh, I I didn't really notice that, but now that you mentioned it. Yeah, too bad this thing doesn't have legs like the Metal Gear design. TV. Could uh is Metal Gear more Ugh. all terrain? Face is all burnt from the blast of the jet. We did it! Oh, is that? I was injured from it. Does he have a Does he have a burn in the other games? I don't remember. That's very Metal Gear esque, like the kind of dinosaur. Yeah, the roar. Roar. Some beastly creature. Yeah. I do love that they make them feel alive. Mm -hmm. Like they make, they move and they make Look. sounds like. Oh my God, he's saying, oh dude. <gasps> he detached the rear section. Oh, is that what happened? Look at it. Oh, the song. Hype. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> it's so hype. Yeah. I'm bumping the that, audio. Like that little drum build in. Chills, yes! dude. It's so good. It is really cool. I mean, it's not it's not like a triumphant mo moment for us, yeah. but I but the song is showdown time. Yeah, it's a showdown. It's a showdown. Yeah. Yeah, I trust you. On one condition, though, leave the fighting to me. You got it. I was getting tired of running away anyway. Eva, let's do it. Oh, he accepted that one. I felt like he pursed his lips a little more there than RPG in previous. Time. Here goes. Working together. I like them. <laughs> the music coming in there was really, really It cool. was really cool. Ugh. The music in this game, the way this game is scored is so perfect. Ah, the Metal Gear Roar explains the Godzilla ref uh, influence. Yeah, I can see that now, Blossom. This man does not give up. Yeah, it's um, admirable. Okay, I hit the tread. I'm wondering what. But also, phase three? Come on. Already bumped here, Raptor. See the frog? Raptor new. Where's the frog? On the building over there. See oh, it? oh, I see. Sometimes I forget how good that song is. It's very good. Is that just the Metal Gear main theme? Oh, I see. There's like a weak spot, potentially, okay. where it detached in the rear. The rear is always the weak spot. Right there. Ah, good eye. Got it. Okay, okay. That was big damage. Yeah. Ah. So stun him and oh. then... I am. <laughs> he called you out on it too. When you look down the site right here, I don't 
I wonder what these, like, those, um... I don't know, that, like, little overlay... What all those numbers and... Oh. Coordinates yeah, like, or graphs or something? Like, to help determine range. Yeah. Again, I know nothing about firearms. Yeah, I am. I'm trying. <laughs> I feel like a cool medley would be the main themes of gaming strung together. Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Metal Gear Solid, Zelda, etc. They kind of do that at the Game Awards when they announce the uh, the winner at the end. They, they do a medley. They do. Of the themes from all the uh, nominees. Or even in the opening, I feel like they've done something like that yeah. before. Um, Harry Gregson Williams, who also composed The Rock, does the main themes. Norihiko Hibino handles most of the other music. Oh, okay. Um, do the title um, vocal themes, is that also Norihiko Hibino? I think so. I mean, he's the one who, um, the composer. Yeah. He's the one who uh, performed it live on the saxophone in that video. Do you remember? Ah, oh, I vaguely remember you showing me this. At Video Games Live? Yeah. That's it, dude. Nicely done. Did we beat him? No. No. Phase four. He's got to go all in on this ammo. ammo. Here we go. Oh. Oh, he's souping he's himself. Out the juice. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, is he? Get off. What? I'm going to lure it back here. Oh, he, he's, or he's, he's giving he's, it he's juice. He's giving it juice. And he's steering it. What? What is she doing? She's gonna lure him. Come on, you blockhead! Huh? <laughs> That's like an obscene gesture, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this a game of chicken? Here we go. Uh oh, uh oh. This is me? Yep. So much responsibility. This is a lot of responsibility. Oh, okay. No, she's just she's just giving him the runaround. <laughs> this looks so silly. Oh, uh, St. Peter is heaving us on. Nice. Yeah, we didn't beat oh. him with infinite rockets, Kessler. Yeah, maybe now. It's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet, Snake. It's like a Western standoff. I thought that's what was going to happen when Ocelot... Oh. Um, what the hell? After Ocelot did his last uh, little... Routine. I thought we were gonna have like a quick draw moment. Cause he was like, no. Wait. Field strips. No. Are we RPGing? Did I just miss that first one in a weird way? Oh, is this Shades is the treads again. Metal Gear Solid One, the Gray Fox moment. F. You're saying, um, 
Ava is kind of like stepping in as our as a in between us and um, there we go. Shagohod. Is that what what you mean by shades of Metal Gear Solid One? I thought he was going to become pure energy, and you would have to fight him. Ooh. Oh, shit. Where's that other gun? I feel like this is this is just as cool. You're your ammo. Oh! Ooh. Oh, you did it! Nice. Yeah, kinda. And he has to shoot at the thing while someone else is distracting. Ah, I see it now, Lobamba. Yeah, I like that this game has like, I don't know, themes and <laughs> shades, like you said, of the previous games, but feels Stop. different, like innovated, not like the same kind of note. Where in Metal Gear Solid 2, it was maybe more intentional. Or it was definitely more intentional because of the um, dang it, the nature of the story. Oh, it's raining! Terrible day for rain. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Only in a video game where you might think that your tranquilizer gun might be more effective on an enemy than an RPG. We're just trying to get the the uh, pacifist ending here. Although we took we took down way too many helicopters for that, I think. As seen in our um, the sorrow fight. <laughs> nice FMA reference. Thank you, Fox. Now knew you would get that one. Very good. Also killed all those guys on the motorcycles. That's that's also true. quick work of that thank you pure focus now now what's the next phase going to be it's all bloodied yeah <laughs> thanks walk sound thanks everyone Is this actually going to a round five or six? <gasps> Finally, too much. Oh. oh. Like the like the cobra units all kind of went out in a yeah in a explosion. I figured all those bullets would be a liability. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised they weren't um, setting off when he was just using his yeah electricity by himself. Dude, look at this. We're still going off. Fried by a 
bolt of lightning. A fitting end. It's finally over. Get to cover. With the fire, with the firecrackers, yeah. <laughs> Fireworks <gasps> in the back. And just Vulcan's dead body. <laughs> Getting seared. Oh, dude. <laughs> These guys! No time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. The theme! <laughs> Happy New Year, PK Prize. <laughs> oh no. Let's get going. It's not over. <laughs> Yay, fireworks. What a shock, Cactar said. Divine judgment. Yeah. Should I just RPG it? Take out. Oh, yeah, you took a bunch out there. Okay, now. Where's that? Where's my rifle? Did I put it away or something? I thought it was going to be Ocelot riding in. It's not over yet. Maybe. Oh, more. Pacifism? I think we're beyond pacifism now. We're just shooting the ground in front of them so they yeah, yeah, lose yeah. control. We're not actually shooting at their face. Yeah, they don't don't they see me? Hold an RPG. <laughs> this is a more aggressive form of pacifism. Yeah. Deterrence. Right. You're being heavily deterred right now. <laughs> By leaving a trail of bodies? That's the... Oh! They're over here! I like how at the beginning of the game, it was there was a lot of emphasis on, hey, don't get caught, because we're, we're going to deny that's how involvement. <laughs> that's how these go. Yeah. yeah, and now we're guns blazing. Yeah. Blow everything up, America! You know, <laughs> you think they know we're we're uh, we're with the the U.S. <sighs> Peace was never an option. Suppose not. You weren't firing at them. You were firing at the space in front of them oh where they God. happened to drive into. Exactly. Yeah, those fools. Yeah. Yeah, I just left my fist out and then they ran into my fist. I didn't punch it. Not that one. In the most difficult mode is it hard to keep Ava alive here because I know she probably I yeah. feel like yeah she's she's doing pretty well and she seems to her um stamina never goes down so she, so she recovers really quickly yeah. but I, I'm thinking probably in the harder modes maybe I that's think you're right harder no Ewoks <laughs> not here Though an at at could pass as a Metal Gear, maybe. Okay. 
I yeah. Shoot, I failed to shoot the log. <laughs> oh, she's so nice thing. Yeah, devil. Uh, you say he, he ran into your knife 28 times? Yes. Yes, your honor. She got mad at me. Because I didn't hit the log. Really missed opportunity to have one of them run into a tree. Well, you're saying that is a possibility? Or you're saying uh, Hideo Kojima should have... Um, should have willed that. that to happen. You guys want some RPG action now? Oh, there's I another don't frog. Know if it's I saw another frog. Gotcha. Oh, there was a frog? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, Star Wars did it. Gotcha, La Bamba. No. Which right? <laughs> ah, I see. Gotta lead the shot. Nope. Is this an endless um, path? No. Okay. You're trying to reduce their damage output so you don't die by the end. That makes sense. But we're on easy anyways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you think if we just didn't shoot anybody? We'd mostly be okay, probably. Oh, okay. Like, we went for the true pacifist ending? Yeah, dude. Nice. Was Snake uh, standing up through that whole jump? <laughs> yeah, it's hardcore. Yeah. Oh man, we must be close, right? Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn it. Tank shot up. Tape it up. Yeah. Crap. Put a put a tree frog in it. Ooh. Oh. That seemed bad. Like they intentionally put emphasis there or something. Oh no, he's good. Shake it off. A lot of good crunch sounds though. I'm over here. No. <gasps> oh god, I thought she was gonna be like impaled or something. <gasps> no, is she? What was that? Oh no. Oh no, it was! I thought I missed Saw. I thought it was just her gun. Snake. How's it look? Is that on the side with her scar, too? Not a sensitive bone in your body. Well, she had like scars all over her back. But uh, remember, she had a sp specific one on her left mm. where what about you, Snake? it indicated to Snake she was not a desk um, worker, an uh, NSA code breaker. Go. Leave me. Eva. The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh-huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva, I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Oh, no. 
That was so good. This is a cat. All right. Oh, I guess God. I'd better help you out. <laughs> oh, this is hardcore. Oh, oh geez. I feel like it would have been better to cut the back of the... Thing and just keep it. You're lucky to have me, dude. Yeah, we gotta go to the cure screen, dude. Yeah. Uh oh. I need you. Snake, <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> Paramedic. Thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down. You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this. Understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. Then by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds are Oh, burst. wow. Do you get my meaning, Snake? You've still got a mission to complete. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Snake? Like this. Yeah, not not Eva laughing in pain at Snake's immense, dense brain. Oh, gosh. Pretty sure we have enough. Let's do this one, though. Okay. This is a shonen anime, suddenly. <laughs> I mean, we have plenty of stuff. Oh. Is it possible you could n not have enough? I'm guessing so. And she w would die? Oh, you did I just make a choice right now to fix her first? I think I did. <gasps> I think you got some romance points for that. I mean, don't tell us. Don't answer okay, the questions, okay, guys. Can you walk? No yeah. spoilers. Maybe not till the end. I think so. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Snake, are you all right? <laughs> I've been is this what Snake thinks what is Eva? pillow talk? I healed her Probably. Up. She can manage. Good. Snake, you'll take the lead and break through the enemy's line of defense. Eva will ordinarily be following behind you. If you lie on your belly, she'll lie mm. down as well. If you slip and fall off a cliff, she'll follow right behind. You can call out to Eva by pressing the action button. Oh. Is it an Head escort mission? With Eva. It essentially is. Oh my god, devil. These are the words that turn naked snake into solid snake. Okay, let's check, let's check our wounds, because we certainly have hey some. Broken bone, okay. We're gonna have to fight the boss. And I'm, I really want... I think maybe now would be a good time to talk about why... This tastes like crap. Why the boss let Eva go. Okay, I like thermal goggles here. 
Yeah, we're gonna have. What is the boss's mission? Don't want the RPG. I mean, I guess. Anymore. Vulcan kind of talked about what their mission was. They need the money and power to kind of unify everyone again. Was it was was kind of what Vulcan was saying. Yeah. Like it was gonna be, you know, Cobra unit and the Shagohod, like an army of Shagohod, and that would have, I don't know, put everyone in line. Mm hmm. Controlling with fear. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't love a late game escort mission? Oh, so it is. Oh God, this is the least favorite part of the game. RE4 moment. I'll never understand how everyone hates escort missions, but also loves Ico. The whole, maybe because Aiko has, it's a cute cat bird dog. Oh, that's um. Oh no. Game. Oh, Same Last developer. Guardian. I'm last thinking Guardian, Last Guardian, yeah. sorry. Oh, Aiko's the one with the girl. Yeah. I never, um, I never played Aiko. Devil tried Aiko and didn't like it that much. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I've never tried it. Yeah. I, I never played it, but I can hear the sounds. Like the call, they call each other and they make these like interesting sounds. Oh, I'm really sounds. unfamiliar with it. They don't speak, I I think, I don't think they speak words like our English or anything. It's like their language. So I just need to make sure I take everyone out. Where? Where? I was really excited to play it too because it gets hyped up by everyone. Yeah, I I feel like I've heard most of the good what? things. Maybe it's the story. Oh, they're just back here. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Sorry. I really don't like this part of the game, but not because it's an escrow mission. Uh oh. Where'd this guy go? I didn't play The Last Guardian, but that dog thing looks unique for sure. Oh, yeah. I played a little bit, a little bit of it. Did, didn't they bring it to, v, uh, to VR also, Last Guardian? They had a VR experience. A VR experience, okay. Ava just laying in mud. She's like, you know, forget this. What the hell, dude? Wait, I thought she was supposed to be close behind. Oh, do these guys spawn infinitely? Seemingly. Oh, man. All right, call her, call her. Wait, there's a call button, right? Yeah. Can I cure her now? No. Oh, you can't? No, I think because of the caution. Oh. Where the F? Oh, because of the caution. Okay. Are you serious? I'm about to kill all these dudes. Wait. She's she's still in the same spot? Yeah. I think she just keeps getting interrupted by these dudes waking oh, up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh god. I can see how this can be frustrating. I'm right here, dog. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. She can't even get out of yeah, the spawn point. Yeah, she's just stuck. Okay. Oh, is she slow cuz she's wounded? Oh god, they're gonna step right on you. Oh god. Gotta wait. What the? Oh Jesus. Oh shot right past her head. Nice. 
Yeah, I still don't know why they wanted us to play this part after that whole Chase and Shago hot fight. Yeah, it, like that was a high. Oh, uh, that was too loud. That's why. Uh, a big high, and then now we're back to this. I don't know. Or it's, we're back to like a slow, like kind of stealthing part again. This probably could have been a cutscene. I agree. Mm. We'll get through it, y'all. We'll get through it. That would be too uninspired for Kojima. Good point. Damn. I can't even. Am I not no. close enough? Is that why? Probably. Oh, you think it's a proximity my guess. thing? Nice. Oh, yuck. What did you give me? <laughs> Come on. Stop being so picky. Okay. Should I give her the ramen? Was she the one who talked about ramen before, or was that paramedic? I think paramedic, paramedic also some, did, yeah. but didn't Ava say, like, oh. Because she gave us some. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Don't or, ever remember having it this bad, though. Maybe we just got. Yeah, I just got stuck. Particular bad timing. I'm injured, too. Ava wanted a calorie, mate. Only Russian rations for you, Ava. Oh, my, oh God, my goodness. Let's go, let's go. Oh, man. Over there? Nope. You have the suppressor on this one? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Let's go. Which way are we going, even? Gotta be this way. <laughs> it was Naruto that talked about ramen. Oh, you mean this game? Yes. Good. We got us something. Pin, thank you so much for the follow. We really appreciate it. Mini dance party for him. Thank you for the follow. We are currently escorting. Oh my god, I'm gonna give her more food. Well, really, we're trying to get to the lake, but uh, Ava's coming Let's along. Give her some noodles in. Oh, nice. Should be good, right? Let me have some more. Nice. So that was the last one, Ava. It'd be funny if it turned into a dating sim. Got to give Ava the snacks she likes to increase her feelings. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Got to say the right things, oh too. God, yeah, the enemies right here. Huh? The dialogue options would be like, say something sweet or oh, talk. Food, food, food. Or talk about guns. Or talk about the boss. Uh, I guess I could have been picking up food this whole time, huh? Oh, oh well. Mushrooms. <laughs> I like how it's like three steps, call. Yeah. Three steps. I, mean, I don't want to miss one. Turn yeah. Around, she's all the way back there. Yeah. <laughs> Say something sweet or talk about guns. Audrey, you just said the same thing twice. Blossom. Oh my God. Are we back at the beginning? What? Yes. Where the F are we going? <laughs> oh no, really? Blossom is Naked Snake confirmed. Uh oh, my boss showed up, B BK? I went the wrong way, okay, that's fine. 
Tell him we're having a meeting. Off, uh, off-site meeting. Yeah, we're going back around. My bad, y'all. Should check the map. I thought it would have been 100% linear. Your stamina is draining. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get this fruit. Check the map again. What is a D med? Disinfectant medicine. Oh, maybe? oh, oh I, I see, sure. I see. Oops. Okay, hang a left. The next big area. There's a dude there. Okay, I'll feed her now. False mango? What? Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Damn, I ate it. Maybe this works. False mango. Hmm. <laughs> that second whom was a little more excited. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Oh sh I didn't see the second Somebody one. There. Huh? Oh, Oh god. Okay. Kind of cool that they all moved in unison like that. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nice. Snake, where are you? I'm right here, dog. Snake. Oh, oh god. Where did this guy come from? Oh no, they're all here. Me. They they're coming. Oh jeez. There's so many. Oh, one of them got up. Yeah, tell them you're actually Arby's fry sauce, not BK fry sauce, an imposter. I'm right here. Mistaken identity. Oh, she's. Oh, are oh, you oh there was. Oh, God. Oh, she got him. Oh, there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's a good shot. I'm injured. I'm gonna take care of it real quick. Yeah. Gunshot wound. Knife. No suture kit necessary for gunshot wounds, I keep forgetting. Okay, let's get the F out of here. It's here, okay. Nice. This seems correct. Ooh. Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Eva should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Okay. Might be time to bring the RPG back out. Oh, oh yeah, seriously. there were more <laughs> droves of uh, enemies, soldiers. Back away. <laughs> Too bad they don't give us the uh, dog tag when we intimidate them. <laughs> Oh, machine is broken. Gotcha, BK. Hopefully, it gets sorted out. Oh, more. I'm trying to 
predict what's going to go down with the boss. Because... She must be waiting for us for a reason. She see us? Do you have to have like line of sight with her so she can? Oh well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're just doing a hand sign. <laughs> Where did she go? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it stays broken. I get to go home at eight hours instead of eleven, like every other day. Oh, okay then. Let's hope. Let's hope it stays broken. I'm so hungry. Okay. Okay. Goddamn. <laughs> Yay! More escort mission. Yay! I thought I thought we were. Maybe done. Mm. We're doing okay. For a half second, I thought, I was thinking, maybe I want to play a no alerts run of this game again. And then you got to this That's part. That's hardcore. This part, man. Seems brutal, right? Huh. So I wonder, maybe we'll see after we finish this game, at the end, is it going to show us how many alerts we got? Or is this the just... The games have. Yeah. Oh, they have? Yeah. I don't like, They give you like a ranking, some animal, right? Oh, they did! They gave a ranking! That's right. <gasps> yeah, Cactor Snake, you need to do the Ocelot hand gesture. It's more effective. There was another soldier over here. Am I doing it right? <laughs> it's kind of like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like... Check the map this time. Oh, this part sucks on any difficulty. Yeah, I mean, if we're on easy and we're having this much trouble, then I can't imagine any harder difficulty. Yep. <laughs> Voxan has the most amazing Metal Gear. Oh, these are the Outer Heaven um, emotes. Very nice. Very nice. Um, wait, does he actually do that in Metal Gear Solid 1 or 2? I wonder, I never noticed. That hand gesture? I feel like he's... ...done something. I feel like he's done like an arms out sort of thing, like... ...you know, kind of like... ...this is me... ...sort of thing. Is that a guy? That's a guy. That seems to be a guy. Um... I didn't do non-lethal, was a bit quicker. Gotcha. This guy's just waiting for us right here. Yeah, Ocelot does not do a tight two-finger point. It's got such style. Agreed. Is that more dudes? It's very... I like that he has his own style, like you said. A little in two, Fudge. not really in one. Gotcha. He had one hand for most of the game. That's true. I think maybe a little in twin snakes. Okay, cool. Yeah, Blossom, that's true. I kind of forgot he lost his hands in one. That's true. He lost his one, his uh, hand. Try this, Ava. It's pretty oh. good. Can I have seconds? Okay. I wonder how they decided um, the reactions for eating oh, certain animals. Oh, there's a freaking guy. Oh, God. Down. Really not see that. Ava, down. Nice. Oh, you went lethal? Oh, no, no, he's sleeping. Okay. Rafa was in a meeting. No problem at all, Rafa. We're still working through this escort mission here.
Oh, I wonder if Twin Snakes adds the theme song um, since the debut in two. Good question. Ava's a snake eater. Yep. We're all snake eaters now. You can't, you can't said, just write stuff and say, don't read it. <laughs> it's our oh, job what? to read the chat. <laughs> no, you need to, oh, oh, I did not read it. <laughs> we got to read the chat. Dog. Yeah, wait, so <laughs> don't. What? I, uh, I, okay. <laughs> I, I'll just try to, I'll put my hand up so I don't see. Later, Serial Mate. See you next time. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Serial, Serial and uh, for popping in and saying hi. We do it. And thanks for saying good luck. We're almost done with this escort mission that's kind of been a little bit of a pain not too bad once i got the rhythm of it i forgot yeah. like just gonna make sure you put the dudes to sleep we're we gonna have to do a part three i don't recall man ava if we can get through this we can we can survive to the end of the game so let's let's do that please dude and that if they made us do all this and then she she dies at the end? I can't. Well, I'll also feel terrible and sad, but... It is a tedious process, but... We... Oh! We did it. Come on, Snake. <gasps> yes! It feels happy. It feels happy. <gasps> you hear the music? Yeah. So good. We made it. We made oh, it. Oh, let's all get along. Please. Let's all reconnect. And laugh about all the fun times we had. I need you. Yeah. <laughs> Can't fly in the it's wig the alone. Boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? No. She's not gonna say why. Boss let her go. Promise me. She's running. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we got here. What was that? Is that the other nuke? Did I forget about that? Or did we set that off already? Life's end. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? She just set it off like in the... It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake. For a long oh, beautiful time. flowers. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Waiting for your birth. Boss, why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. Wait, is this snake a beaker baby too? The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? It's coming full circle. Yesterday's she set this at the beginning. Comes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such oh. a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? 
There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. Oh, dude. I was in the Nevada desert participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake, you were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. What? You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. Yes, radiation we poisoning? We have no tomorrow. Yeah, they were both... Subjects. But we can still have hope for the future. Oh. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided <gasps> to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays. Oh. And whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. This is why, That's why she they chose can't me. have children. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Oh. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. Secretly the first person in space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the US and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. Mm. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. Is this a real event? I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for. Oh. By the very government I dedicated my life to defending. Mm -hmm. I was driven from the surface. Yes, it was real. It was real. Underground. 
Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow. My old comrade in battle. Strike three. He was my friend. There it is. That's the body Confirmation, right? But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Lot Early in the info. 20th century, mm -hmm. the true holders of power in the United Early in the 20th States, century, the Republic of China and oh. the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in early a secret 1900s. Right. That yeah. would later be known. Oh, as yes, the yes, I I knew it. I knew the it. Secret pact yes. They formed there marked the beginning of the yes. philosophers. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, why since committee is philosophers? But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. <gasps> yeah. After that, the organization oh. began to run out of control. And the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral. God, that is this the page? Are they the Patriots, or is it a different thing now? Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this. My to me. father. My father. He was one of them. Who? Oh. She was the daughter of someone on the Wise Men's Committee. I am committee. the last remaining child of the philosophers. Dude. Oh, after, after Volgan. Revealed the truth, my Volgan father is gone was now. killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. Jeez. We'd been given a top secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. <gasps> the sorrow was the father. Oh, they were. I gave birth on the field of battle. I gave birth on the battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away. Who is that gonna be? By the philosophers. A. Why would the ph philosophers take it? The baby. It doesn't make sense. That's. No, I, I'll scar. stay quiet. This is proof that I was once a mother. <gasps> I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me, slithering through my body like a snake. <gasps> I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. Feel content, Snake. Commence the operation. No. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. Is this big boss? 
origin right now? I'll give you ten minutes. Remember, don't answer Audrey's questions. In ten minutes, MIGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. Russian jets. If you can beat me in less than ten minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. <gasps> Let's make this the greatest ten minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. She's she's really Prove instilling your loyalty. This is a the lesson. It's yeah, always yeah, a yeah. Lesson. The things that Fish. she taught him. No. Oh my God! What a beautiful stage. Good. <gasps> the red petals. No music here. I can't even CQC. All these years and still nothing. Oh my God! She's taunting him. Gunshot wound. Broken bone. Um, why why does she have the scar? What what uh we imagine it's some like intense battlefield C section. Uh oh that's how she gave birth on the battlefield. Yeah, I think and that's And then they just implied. took her baby from her? Yeah. Who could the baby be? Wait, when was the what year was Normandy? Nineteen forty four. No spoilers, you all. Remember Audrey doesn't know. So anything. the baby would be 20 or so we're 1964 now right this is 1964 yeah okay so it would be the baby would be 20 there you are. in 2009 okay so metal gear solid 2 takes place in 2009 can i not hit her i forgot how to do this Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Where are you hiding? <laughs> this is intense. We only have ten minutes. I forgot how Oh, to you do. actually only have ten minutes? Yeah. That is a big old C section scar? Jeez. <gasps> There's a snake hanging on the branch. Where are you hiding? F, dude. What if I supposed to be? Heads up, snake. At least I can still punch, punch, kick her. It's not giving me camera control here. I'm obsessed with this. Uh, setting. Yeah. <laughs> Commence the operation. To bomb this place in 10 minutes. Yeah. Why? Why, though? Can I not shoot her with the freaking thing? Ah. I can if she doesn't see me. Here I come. Ah. No, I think it's. Ah. I think she faked it. I don't think she actually called anybody. I don't know. Maybe she did. I don't know. I can't get a read on her. She just Here wants I to come. teach Snake this lesson. Well, I don't know. You said we actually have only 10 minutes, so maybe, but... Sorry, I'm just going to make sure we don't fail. Okay. I mean, she's been... destroying Snake this whole game. Not actually, but like... Um... Um, all will be revealed on the next episode of Rainy Ballsy. Run quick, dragon, dragon. Oh. 
Think of the most insane possibility, and it's probably right. I don't know. Run quick. Mei Ling comes in on a plane, scoops us up. Imagine if they rolled you right into this fight after the bike chase without the escort mission to slow it all down. I, yeah, I think. Damn. I found I'll let you find me. Yeah, the escort mission kind of let the uh, wind out of our sails a little bit. She said son, she said li her little boy for sure. I don't know. I'm playing now, so I'm trusting you guys in chat not to spoil anything. Yeah, I, I, you I know, I'm, I'm watching, I'm focusing on your fight because I want to see you um, do this fight. So uh, She keeps injuring me. Stop. I think the only, I don't know. I mean, I do have life medicine. Plenty of that. Five in term, in term, five, oh, five more minutes. Okay, hey, we're a little over half here. In terms of age, I feel like the only one who fits the bill is Ocelot, but. <gasps> This song is too good. Damn it. Okay, I know the rhythm for this fight now, but I figured it out late, I feel like. It's okay. No, I can't see QC. I just got a punch, punch, kick. Man, such a good choice to put this song here. Mm, in, the, in this way, too. Yeah. Without the lyrics. Without the lyrics. Yeah. Groovy and so meaningful. I'm not saying anything, but I like hearing you theorize. Foxhound, appreciate that. And I do, that's what I do. I just theorize and usually I'm fairly off. <laughs> This fight so much better with the subsistence camera. It's, so it's sounding like maybe the game Damn as a whole it. is better with this camera. Oh, it's a waste of time when I get spotted because I gotta wait for her to melee me. Uh. is the timer, isn't it? Uh, should I be wearing different camo too? Oh! No, we want to wear this. Oh, I was wondering if you had the white, like her white version. Oh, oh my god, is her... Have they been setting up this last fight? Like her... Oh, the, her, her like ninja run through the... She's been wearing white this whole game. Oh, and I can shoot her when she's running up. She, is this like camo for this final fight? Oh my god. I don't know. I'm just... I feel like that's probably... Ah. 
Yeah, that's why I said no spoilers about the fight after Audrey commented on the silence. People are cheering for you. Anthony, you got this. Thank you. This is too epic. I'm out of this ammo. <laughs> Snake, you know? That's it. Dude, my heart is racing. Does that mean we killed her? We did it. Thank you, guys, everyone. Take this. Keep it safe. We can. It's our only hope. A patriot. Why are you giving me this? Jack. Or should I say, Snake? Wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Sure, I saw your message. I think yes.
ready to go, Snake? Are you okay? Snake? Yeah. I told you you could trust me. Sorry, we're missing chat, y'all. We'll catch up after. Damn. Seeing Ocelot just brighten my mood. Just what? Brightened my mood. Yeah, he has that effect. I was wondering why everyone was kept quoting that over and over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Not good. Oh, the reversal. Ocelot is actually holding his own here. I mean, he's learned. Every time he was defeated was a lesson too, right? Yeah, but I thought it was mostly learning about um, revolvers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's cute. I picked up a few new moves. doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the gun we gave her. Yeah. Say to one last showdown. We're gonna play Russian roulette. Oh my yeah, god! All right.
were we supposed to be paying attention or just enjoying the show? Both. <laughs> the toss with two is, was pretty sweet. Is there an actual right answer here? What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Very well, John. Plain name. But I won't It wasn't Jack? It. But I won't forget it. Jack is like a uh, nickname for John, isn't it? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Please confirm. That was... Unless I've had that misconception Come my on. whole life. Wait. Is this an actual thing? All right, we gotta pick which one you want, Audrey. You gotta. Are choose. you serious? Please choose. No, me. Left or right? Why? You choose. Always left. Left, always left. Jiggity Joel. Is this? Is there an actual right answer here, or are they Jack just making? Jack is a, a nickname for John. Okay. Oh, thank you. I don't actually remember. Do not tell us. Again, I haven't played this game a lot. They're making it feel John like we Snake. have. <laughs> some control over our destiny here, but why do I feel like, why do I feel like we don't? Are we gonna get a fish and mailed scene? Are you doing that? Yes. Was there an actual right uh, or wrong? I don't know. <laughs> now we've created a time paradox. <laughs> oh! Oh, is that it's a blank? A blank. Oh. <sighs> Good one. That was fun. <laughs> what is Ocelot? Till we meet again, John. John. Oh. What a what an enigma. We could have dropped him off. Oh. Mystery! He did shoot out one of the engines. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> it was like, you guys, hurry up. Yeah, <laughs> she kept looking back like, hey. Those no. Migs, dude. Oh, so they were real. Okay. Yeah. I thought. I thought. Dude. Huh? Commence the operation. Right? Yeah. Well, I thought she was just doing that for show. Like, hey, you gotta, you gotta complete this mission. There's no way out. You don't have a choice, or something like that. But let them stop us now. She actually called him. Those things have got to be armed. 
It's of no use. There's no Cheetah's way we lab. can outmaneuver them. They're gonna shoot us down. We were so close. Weapon systems on. Locked on target. I got towed. You were great, Eva. Huh? Thanks. Oak 19, this is Control. <gasps> Stand by for a direct order from the chairman. Oak 19, return to base immediately. Who's the chairman? Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade <gasps> Khrushchev. Khrushchev. Return to base immediately. Oak 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. RTB. Return to base? Okay. Look! The MiGs, they're turning back! That was a good woo. That was a good woo. Love can bloom on the battlefield. Well done, Snake. The MiGs disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Mm. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is... You made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. To Alaska? I'm sending someone out to Galena Base <gasps> to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the is this the origin of Outer Heaven? Waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. Wait, it was Alaska? Was is that where Outer Heaven is? That was Shadow Moses. Oh, Shadow Moses. I think it's just the closest point. It's always, from where we are. Okay. Yeah, I guess American that makes soil. sense. It's always Alaska. Considering fuel and all of those. Bye bye things. horse. Depressed horse. The horse nay may have been a little a little silly. <laughs> but Hyper dramatic, dude. That's the one true. consistent thing it's, about it's this within, it's, series. It's uh, within um, the expectation, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh cactars! cactars with the cheer. The Thank cheer. you so much. Thank you so much, cactars. Save screen dance party. Save screen dance party. Thank you, cactars. Dude, that was a bad day to put on mascara. <laughs> Thank you, cactars. Hundred bits. Thank you. Oh. Oh, there's controller vibration for that. Cheers too. You're missing out on a lot without your hands on the controller. I'm right? sure. I'm sure. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB. Come on, tell us who you really are. What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. So this really, she really is the NSA co-breaker? Save this country. I didn't do it alone. This is just waiting now, right? And I still owe you a dinner. Waiting for what? To meet up with our uh, CIA crew. Is that part of your mission too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. Mm. Oh, was he worried maybe she was doing everything uh, as a spy? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. I mean, who's to say that she's still not? Yeah, put the kids to bed. Rated M for mature. No, they're just wrestling like they did earlier. Sure. <laughs> Raptor. Cover the kid's eyes. This is just the basics of CQC. That was probably important. <laughs>
music has been consistently amazing in this yeah, game. This yeah. game in particular. Hey, Calandra, what's up? Hey, Calandra. Guess he can't call him <laughs> <for> back up. <laughs> <yet. laughs> Kessler, Kessler, thank you so you much. Go get him, Ty. Oh, Kessler. There it is. Thank you, Kessler. <laughs> Little uh, morning after dance party. Thank you. Yeah, he'll handle this one alone. Oh, did she bounce? We'll catch up with chat, guys. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. Mm. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. <gasps> she took the legacy? Forgive me, snake. Oh, the apples, too. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. Those were the three big players, was it? U.S., Russia, and China? Mm -hmm. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. Oh, so he just didn't show up? And you and yeah. Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, mm -hmm. and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy. <sighs> and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandon easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. I, too, am one of the philosophers. Oh! I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. <gasps> school? Philosopher's school? I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. Spy this was school. before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher <gasps> schools, too, as an instructor. Oh, what? The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. 
Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. Ooh, cool shot. So good. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. Is the boss? But because I made a promise. Promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. Yeah, everyone's making promises with the boss. You know. And you have to live. You choose to live. Choose to live. Snake really dropped the ball. I gotta say, relax way too early. I mean, the legacy wasn't Snake. really his mission. Listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. Oh, she there was it a is. hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. <gasps> See, because everyone. Her duty. For the first time. Thanks, Labamba. You are above even the boss. <gasps> I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. Legendary Big Paul. You are a true patriot. This R1? <gasps> oh. <gasps> that was it. That was the hidden R1. Thank you. I've never seen that before. The music, too. It's the main theme motif again. Oh, is it? Sweet. soldier and an agent the boss's defection was a ruse set up by the u.s government it was all a big drama staged by washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy there it is and the boss was the star of the show they planned it so that they could get the legacy that colonel volgan inherited and destroy the shagohat at the same time only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned volgan's trust Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear war oh. at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. Mm -hmm. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. 
The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. <laughs> Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. <laughs> Try to read all this if you can. Okay. We won't read it out loud, y'all. Try to keep up. Arpa? There it is. Dan's Fox? Ah, okay. Big Boss establishes Foxhound. Going on the traditions. That's 1971. <gasps> it's only like eight years after this. What a game. Is it over? I think so. I didn't know this song was for this game. Sun, oh my goodness. You've got a way to fall. Now you know, Audrey. We never get a name for the ball. Why so many people hold this game in such high regard. Among all these great games we played so far, this mm. one feels Johnny. Johnny's named here. Yeah. You'd better take it all. Mm. They'll 
Of uh, course, we do remember that there's stuff after. I think I got confused. Okay, let's okay. clarify before we, we get the post credits. Should we clarify now or maybe after? After the credits and after the... Um, well, I mean, what is the question? Um, when... Um, Fry sauce, bring that up again later if we miss it. Sorry. Go ahead. When Volgan uh, set off the atomic bomb... So so the, the original plan was... Oh, your mic. You've got a way to kill. And the boss... Um, at, like, th they, they faked her defecting yeah. to Russia because um, she was the... Um, like a master spy. She, yeah, she was like the only one who could get away with that because she's such an amazing... Like yeah. soldier or spy, and Vulcan yeah. would have like been like, okay, I I, I get this. And according to the story, we saw like he reached out to her, but they probably set that up. He right, right, her, right. Yeah, suggested that she defect. Right, and so yeah, their their whole plan was to find out where the money, the legacy was, and yeah. so that they can take the money for the legacy yeah. for themselves, which was what every country was doing. Yeah. Um, but then Vulcan set off the one the of the nuke. gifts, one of the nukes, which is hard to hide. That's so, very public. Yeah, it's very public. So, what does that mean? Oh, so, uh, so what does that mean? Why? So the, does, why so does that? The, so the Russian public is and the the world stage is like, what the hell is American nuke going off in Russia? Oh, it's an American nuke going off in Russia. And then Khrushchev's like, what is the meaning of this? American oh. CIA, you guys need to fix this before war breaks. Okay, out. so so it was supposed to be pretty hush hush. Yeah. About her defecting. Spy games. Yeah. Okay, so since the world found out about. America having some sort of presence. Yeah. Now everyone knows the boss is there, so they gotta commit. They gotta fully commit to this lie. Yeah, we gotta rewrite this. Um, the plan. Yeah, we and, shift the plan. And we needed a scapegoat. Right. And um, in order to um, remove any suspicion of America, they needed Snake to kill the boss. They needed well, America to clean up their mess. They needed America to to clean up the mess. So I mean, it's just. A little bit poetic that it's her her star pupil yeah. has to be the one to do it, but it, it makes yeah. for a good story. Yeah, um, and it it definitely clears. And they just figure because she's this legendary soldier, who can who is the only person who can take her out? Yeah, her closest disciple. But she, she this was everything according to plan. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll she, continue to discuss afterwards, guys. Don't worry about she it. She goes down in history as the. A war criminal. A, a criminal. From all perspectives. Except Snake. And she knew and this Ava. was her mission. Loyalty to the mission. Loyalty to the mission. Remember, do you have loyalty to your friends or do you have loyalty to your mission? Exactly. Because if you don't have loyalty to the mission because people change. Yeah, right? she said the the politicians there's, change, there's but no, your, your um, home. There's no, what, like concrete villain or what does she say there's her no objective oh, enemy her language there's no like forever enemy there's no yeah. such thing as an objective timeless enemy timeless timeless, timeless yeah yeah. Mm. yeah and the cobras all followed her too um is it it wasn't who sent her out on this um mission to start with just we're just thinking the government or is it the, the philosopher yeah i don't know it's not the philosopher or i guess the philosophers are tied in with the government so i guess yeah. it would be the philosophers yeah and then now the philosophers rebranded themselves as the patriots yeah as of whatever year that was i forgot yeah. no absolute enemy only in relative terms it, yes yeah and you've probably absolute seen that was the um, word absolute was the word you've probably seen that salute on the internet before where Big Boss salute is saluted at the grave. Oh, probably. Uh, there, it's a it's it's one of those like kind of copy pasta ASCII images that people spam all the time. Oh. A lot of people's like emotes. If you guys have some examples of that exact emote, feel free to put it in chat so Audrey can see. Examples specifically, of it. a reference to that moment. Big Boss saluting at the boss's grave oh. is iconic video games. Right there. There's one. There's another. Oh, I didn't know that. All of them kind of reference this. Oh, I see. yeah. Oh, Claire is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a very popular meme. Well, developers, I'm late, but 
I'm here. Thank you. Now Audrey can look at the cover of the subsistence Well, I mean, version. I've seen it now several times <laughs> over, but for those uh, who weren't here, Anthony like There's was a like, mate, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Anthony was like, hey, this is the game we're playing. And I'm like, hey, who's that on the cover? I was like, oh, oh and take it back, take it back. Hey, Casey. It's a beautiful game. I haven't played it in a while. Yeah. And this one I feel like I've played the least out of all of them. So we have some questions like... Sure. Who is... I feel like um, the boss We're is, not done though. Just remember that. Right. The boss's son is somewhere out there. Uh-huh. Um, Ava is still out there. Mm-hmm. Working for China. Uh, big boss, we we know where that goes. Yeah. All right. So after this point, oh, okay, hold on. It might be time. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Solid. Okay. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Whose voice is that? Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. This is Ocelot, I'm just going to tell you. Oh, it is? I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Thank you for the ball. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Thank you for the Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. Ooh. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work, too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find it. <sighs> it's a revolutionary new yeah. nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. Oh my God. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Audrey called that off stream. I'll admit to that here. Of course. I'm always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. Oh, dude. He also said his name was Adamska. Oh, I didn't catch that. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't catch it, but I yeah. Did not, I did not catch that. It is. <gasps> Jaguar. Dude. Oh, special item not used. Yeah. Probably like special New Game Plus reward items. Oh, you only had one continue. Oh, okay. Nice. 
I mean, playing on easy. We're here That's for the okay. story. Oh my god! Triple crossing. So who is he crossing? Crossing, crossing, crossing. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's working for the U.S. Actually, and Blossom pointed out that all of these three post credit scenes so far have all been Ocelot. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Posture check. Thank you, Raptor. Thank you, Raptor. And sorry, we fell behind on chat. All right. Wait. Just gonna skip past the screen. Hey, Cyrus. Yeah. What oh. are the ranks? I don't know. You got a. He's playing the Guru, the KGB, and the Americans. Ah. Tuxedo. But uh, so he, yeah, he's trying to bring a new government. He's like you. Know, Who's the director? Mr. Director, do, should we know? Hold on one second. Let us uh, let me just save this game and then we'll go into a just chatting screen to debrief. So this is the past. Mr. And some director. ground rules just to make sure. If you guys want to, if Audrey wants to legit ask you questions, she'll make it clear if she wants an answer. And also, um, please do not use any information from future games, of course. We only have Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 context here. No, uh, no meta knowledge of extra stuff. You can perhaps go to just chatting screen now if you want. Okay. But yeah, do you want to start off with just questions, loose ends you have? Yeah, I th I feel like I had more, but now I've forgotten. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's um, that's on me. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, there's plenty of fun stuff to point out, but let's go ahead and uh have Audrey ask first. Yeah. Fry sauce. Um, I I'll I'll remember that. Okay. Yeah. Can Are we, we please get a big whiteboard to figure all of this out? I was thinking that too. I was thinking that too. Maybe you can just read uh, Fry Sauce's message right now. Oh, okay. Fry they Sauce. They posted it earlier. Um, interesting tidbit about Ava, uh, Eva's allegiance. In the oh. scene where she runs over Ocelot's face, she uses Chinese martial arts. Yeah. She also uses a German pistol, but it's a Chinese knockoff. <gasps> Seems like nothing at first, but very yeah, deliberate. Do you remember that? Do you remember it was a Chinese knockoff? Yes, I do remember, I remember yeah. that. I, don't, I didn't catch yeah. the Chinese martial arts um, part. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh! Devil, switch to a secure line. Do you want to? Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, because we got to talk about the you know what. Yeah. Hold on. The lale lule low. <laughs> you were waiting for the game to bridge some gaps. I and was. It did. I was. I was. So. Oh. Yeah, so the original page uh original philosophers um the original wise men's committee they're all dead but they live on because of this philosopher's charm school thing. So they're students of the philosopher's charm school including Ava. Mm -hmm. So Ava's a philosopher. Um yeah. We don't know who else is a philosopher. Yeah. But he, but we were informed that by the 30s, the philosophers had all like died off. The, or the, rather, yeah. the Wise Men's Committee. And that the boss was like the last remaining descendant of the uh, original Wise Men's Committee. Right. So um, while I have that post credits uh, stinger in my head, mm. the legacy was... The, the one that went to China was a fake. Mm -hmm. And the legacy actually is split into half of the US, half Russia. Because Russia held on to half of the film. Seems like it, yeah. So that's how the U.S. was able to fund um, Metal Gear stuff. Does that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The director. I'm assuming this is this is like soon after this um, all went down. Who with the director? So someone someone's leading the current philosophers. We don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Someone's behind that. Mm -hmm. Um. It's not the boss. The boss is off doing Foxhound stuff now. Big boss. Or sorry, a big boss is off doing. We don't know. We just got some historical bullet points. Yeah. We don't know anything about motivations, where everyone's headspace is. It's just like history book bullet points. These are the things that are happening. So, yeah, he's in charge of Yeah. Foxhound. Yeah, he's in charge of Fox. Well, I mean, we know because of Metal Gear, right? Yes, Metal Gear the game, last Metal bullet Gear point Solid. we saw was 1972. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Yeah, and he's participating in the 
Les Enfants Terribles Project? Uh, all it said was the start of the Les Enfants Terribles Project. This, that's all it said, the start of it. The yeah. sons of Big Boss. Are born. Is all yeah. it said. Yeah. But we know we know about that because we know, right? Yeah. I, I'm just trying to be... I'm trying to not inject any outside information and, and making sure... You, yeah, we only yeah. have what okay. it says in the specific wording it's given us. Right, right. Don't want to accidentally assume anything and then go off on like mental tangents that uh, not based on anything that. Yeah. Yeah. Not just charm schools, but other shadowy organizations. Okay. Yeah. Why is this committee all died off in 1930s? Right. Is what the game has told us. She had the great small line that the current philosophers of the 60s had no sense of good or evil. Right. Mm-hmm. They were just all like messed up. or it's like a shell of the former organization. Yeah, shell of, yeah. So. They rebranded to the Patriots, which I don't know what, what that means for the organization. Or maybe that was... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. No, Patriots. Yeah, what a crazy stunt they pulled after the huge cliffhangers of Metal Gear Solid 2 left you on to instead take you 50-some years Yeah! Back. yeah. That cool. was cool. Yeah. That was cool. I thought maybe we were going to go back further like to see the start of, mm-hmm. of all of this. Mm-hmm. but I thought that was, was a fair prediction, given yeah, the Yeah, this was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, um... I did think is I did have that thought where is Ocelot already part of the the Patriots organization um, in this game, yeah. which now I'm hearing that the Patriots are the new version of the philosophers. Mm-hmm. So I thought, oh, is it would Ocelot already be a part of the organization? And it sounds like he is. Yeah, but there's also the question of like, you know, which kind of which branch of the philosophers because it seems like the philosophers within each of the countries yeah. is all scrambling for that uh, right right oh right? so there's like yeah the the philosophers so there's like definitely a group of philosophers in the u.s government but it also sounds like he's he and whatever this group is trying to start like a new age like a new government yeah they're trying to influence of course shadowy organization trying to influence the government right trying to influence the government yeah, I mean that's the whole the Patriots whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, Casey, just Ooh. I'm just gonna delete stuff. Just make sure you're not okay putting Audrey on a path a path <laughs> that she couldn't have really gotten all on her own. Okay, with it, we're we're just here to fill in the gaps of things she's not. Yeah, the ghost of what the original branch of these philosophers were there wi- were there will. A were there will uh, has been perverted over time, right? That there was a scene from Metal Gear Solid Two that I've been waiting to bring up for a while. Okay, lo- uh-huh. would love a reminder. Solid Snake, don't even say that. Oh man, I like. <laughs> don't even say that. Okay, I didn't fully read it. Yeah. Um. No meta knowledge. <laughs> no meta knowledge. So I mean, speaking of parents, um, Ava. Oh no. The boss. I'm just being super careful, and I apologize for deleting your messages. Yeah, I recognize I ho- that everyone's super passionate Please. about the game. Yeah, I hope but do, I'm, everyone understands. I'm doing my understands. best to preserve because preserve Audrey's first experience. With yeah, I just um, I know it's kind of hard to talk about all this stuff, and then if you, you want to bring up yeah. you know something that may be relevant, but um, it may you know prompt me to think, oh, and uh, maybe I'll reveal like uncover the whole thing right here yeah i don't um, want to shine a spotlight on something that is meant to be yeah. kind of like still spooky and uh, mysterious the boss and sorrow's son okay, tragic dude normandy yeah pregnant yep she's fighting pregnant nine months pregnant c-section on the battlefield yeah. and they just take the baby yeah probably to go uh uh, do that like school thing that Ava did, right? Or was that, or was that, or just to be in possession of, okay, as like a blackmailing tool, or this oh my or that, god, yeah. Right? So there's the Could boss, be a lot of things. there's the boss's son that's you know, somewhere. There's um, who else's son, uh, or a uh, child? Uh, hold on, hold on, I have notes. Oh no, these are not the right notes. Uh-oh. Where are my I'm other notes? Mixing up her notes. Um, hold on. Uh, uh, Olga's baby held by the Patriots. <gasps> the Patriots have all these babies. Mm-hmm. 
and we don't know. Yeah, when, when you were, when we were talking about the charm school stuff, um, Ava was telling us that they were taking children from around the world to yeah. create sleeper agents, and um, with the right training, you can't tell what their nationality is. Right. 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 So even though Ava was a Chinese agent, uh huh, because they took her and raised her in this way, uh huh, taught her to speak with an American accent, yeah. No, it's indistinguishable. Yeah, I mean. But the boss could see through it because she was an instructor. Yeah. So who else? I'm now I'm wondering who else is, you know, maybe someone a character that we know already. Someone's going to be revealed as one of those uh, philosopher school, charm school students, and is revealed as a philosopher. I'm scared. Raptor says, wonder if you noticed the boss lying in the field. Something happened to her body. I did not. I was looking for it. I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah, I didn't notice either. Yeah, kind of like what happened to Olga. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Remember in the tanker when Gerlukovich was shocked that Ocelot was suddenly betraying Russia? Ocelot then says that he had abandoned Mother Russia during the Cold War. That is not too much info. I appreciate that connection. Oh, right. Calling back to here. Right. Yeah, it's hard, Devil. Um, it's so easy to forget like wait. lines like yeah. that. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Gerlukovich Gerlo was shocked that Ocelot was suddenly betraying Russia. Mm -hmm. Ocelot. During the tanker mission. Oh. Right. And that's when he revealed. That's when we hear about the Lolly Lule Lo the first time. Mm -hmm. Right. I did not think about that at all. If I had remembered that, then I would have known that he had been with them since this time. Yeah, it's just so hard in these games because it's like there's on one hand there's what a person says. Yeah. And what is the truth? Oh sure. Those are not always connected. Oh no. And oh, you no, were just no, skeptical no. of everything all the time, and I think that was good. Yeah. It was really entertaining. Okay. <laughs> hearing you predict stuff, but yeah. Oh, something with her scars, the boss. Um, oh oh oh! You mean oh, when yeah, her yeah. scar um, turned turn into of, a white snake yeah, and just slithered yeah. away? That yeah. was really that whole fight was really beautiful. That was that was legendary. I'm gonna show Audrey later, but I mentioned before you guys um that Konami made the pachinko machines and they made a Metal Gear Solid 3 pachinko machine. Oh yeah, you did tell and me. And they like remade. It looked even more hardcore than a remaster. Mm -hmm. They remade all the cutscenes in this freaking game mm -hmm. in like super HD high quality graphics. Mm -hmm. I went back to our uh, so check those out. little screen. Sure. Um can I say something I remember from Metal Gear Solid 4? Yeah, Vaguely. sorry. So let's, let's say this. Uh, something okay. to keep in La Bamba, thank you for this. Something to keep in mind is Ko Kojima didn't plan all this out. He wrote every game as if it would be the last. So that's what, that's another reason that I feel like it's a good idea for us to continue playing in release order. Really? He must have had some idea, though. Probably he probably I mean, takes seeds for himself. Yeah. If you put a stinger in like that, you, you there's like, I mean, you must feel like you must be setting something up, setting something up again, right? Mm -hmm. At sorry, least your, your observation. Oh, sorry. No, no, Don't no. That's okay. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we read? Uh, let's see. The Taker mission, when Liquid takes control, he says there's only room for one snake and one big boss. The boss says that during her last cutscene. <gasps> the only thing I knew about this game is the boss fight against the old man. That kind of gave the whole idea about how intense this game is. Oh, uh, the end? The end, yeah. Oh, Sorry, yeah. So, I mean, what do you know about it? Because there's there's multiple things to know about it. That was that was pretty cool. That was, that was fun. Um... Uh, let's see. It's something, it, or it's not too much info, but also with Raiden, he was chosen as a pawn because for the Patriot Society memes. Not internet memes, but that could be an example. We look at their goal in that game. They want to not control content, but they want to create content, control the truth, and reshape it to influence 
society down the path they desire. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control the truth and reshape it. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's the whole, that Patriot's whole thing. I know there's different ways to end the boss fight. There are. There are indeed. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, create context. Yeah, is a they good specifically way to put said it. recreate context. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did. I so I barely remember anything from Metal Gear Solid Four. Yes. Yeah, so you grew up and you casually watched your brother play Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah. No context. No context. I mean, I remember like some imagery like um like one boss fight in particular um i do remember <laughs> i remember a woman mm -hmm. do and not I, react to this chat okay i remembered a woman uh -huh. i thought that woman was the boss so so i was I I, don't, I I wasn't a hundred percent sure about this, but I saw the I remember the boss, and I was like, so I wasn't really expecting her to die. I guess. Oh, you, uh, you, your memories pranked yourself. Yeah. Your memories pranked you. Um. So yeah, please don't confirm or deny what I'm remembering. Solid I'm, Snake. I'm just gonna delete that because this is not the place for Naruto spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. We don't definitely don't want to. It's hard. We want to make comparisons and references <laughs> yeah. to other things, but yeah. it's risky spoiling. I'll look at it later though, because I'm curious what you said. <laughs> yeah, Audrey will be able to go back to the vod and see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see it. Sorry, um, Solid Snake, but um, I, I read your message really quickly and I agree with it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you agree with that? That's yeah. funny. Um, oh, I guess I can see it here. <gasps> yes, Solid Snake. Yes. Audrey I will your say that. I, that's all I will say. I didn't even. Oh no! Also, my my favorite character. <laughs> um, man. So you saw a woman. There was a woman in your memories watching your brother play Metal Gear Solid Four. <laughs> yeah, and I thought and her that name that made it gave you an assumption as we were playing this. I thought her name was the boss. Uh huh. <laughs> no comment. Maybe I don't remember anymore. Anyway, um, dang. So where did we go in Metal Gear Solid Four? Like from what I remember, I feel like we're back in. Um, I guess we come back to the um, end of Metal Gear Solid Two time. Is my is my thinking? Okay, it's a good thought. Yeah. I guess this is where we are. What what do you see next? I Where does all of this lead? So they've set up they what have they set up in this game? I guess we can say that Labamba's pointing it out. It is called Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. That's the title of the game. Right. I am remembering the Patriot gun from Metal Gear Solid 4. Cause I think I um I helped my like it's a special item I think I won't say anymore just because <laughs> you I'm helped your brother with a quest no 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 not a quest like like um download a save to get it oh that had stuff unlocked yeah or like yeah, a yeah. completed save yeah whoa okay I think because well, all like, these memories are flooding back I don't know why I'm remembering this now at Game Facts probably save files yeah I don't want to spoil Metal Gear Solid Four because we're not talking about that right now so I won't say anymore. Um, but I think I remember it was special. Um, so I think, so now we have this thing called the legacy. I mean, I guess that kind of, um, Philosopher's legacy. what is new? What is new information? Cause I mean that, that kind of informs how they're able to fund all of these things. The and big, the origin of some of those things. Yeah. Where's the money coming from? Right. Yeah. Um, the, honestly, the biggest thing to take out of this, uh -huh is some of the names of yeah. the people. You know yeah. how Big Boss got his name. Yeah. You know who he is, how he feels about the world. Yeah. Where he learned everything, his motivations. Yeah, yeah. You are informed by that now. Yeah, but 
he's dead. Mm -hmm. So but, I'm not saying I, I'm of course yeah that's that's giving me more insight into that character. Mm. But what does that mean for um, the night, world after Metal Gear Solid Two? Thanks for being here, Solid Snake. Hope to see Solid Snake the character again. Well, um, it helps to fill in and provide the context mm -hmm. for what the games we've already played. Yeah, uh, already played. Yeah, and perhaps future stuff. Future stuff. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I mean, he. Um, I mean, even after he died, his presence was still felt. Certainly. You know how Ocelot became Revolver? Yeah, that's that's a big one. Too. Oh yeah! Oh really yeah! Yeah yeah. Oh, yeah! So Character it, relationships. That were huge in this game. gives more context to yeah. their relationship. Mm. So I'm sure that that that's um, that feeling that Ocelot has for Naked Snake carries through when he sees his sons, Solid Snake, or what they call this, the sons, mm -hmm. Solid Snake. And Liquid Snake. Yeah, I like this too, Foxhound. Yeah, also what, how the the boss feels too, right? right? For me, the biggest takeaway from the boss is when she said she envisioned a world with no East, no West, no communism, no capitalism. She imagined the 21st century being where everyone wakes up and realizes we're all on the same planet and in, the, in this together. Right, right. So that's that's her vision oh. of the future. Yeah. And and for Big Boss to know that. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know where it goes from here. I mean, I guess we back to the our usual programming. <laughs> I guess. Like, where do we end with Metal Gear Solid Two? Kind of this note about knowing now knowing about this organization that. Um, controls everything mm -hmm. the Patriots yeah it's a very um, <gasps> wait they also time. they also mentioned um, at, in the stinger in Metal Gear Solid 2 it was like uh, something about um, oh one of our biggest benefactors is on that list mm -hmm. yeah yes that that is what was said the list of um, people in the wise wise men's committee was yeah. it yeah huh Devil, if it's okay, will you take a quick peek at some Easter eggs after this debriefing, particularly the big one that you set up last time? I don't recall what I set up last time. What did oh. I set up? Is that the one we saved a save for or something? I thought that was to keep the... Um, oh, was it an alternate way to get out of the uh, the jail cell? Um, I'll do one thing. We are... It is very late for us. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like... My mind's racing, but I yeah, don't have anything to say. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt Audrey. No, 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 no. That's thoughts, okay. Devil. No, I, I, I kind of feel like that's. I just need to sit on it and then think about it and, for the rest of the week. <laughs> Shady organizations. Yeah, Blossom. I think that's a good point. Two does go into the idea of controlling history and creating context, as Casey said. So I guess three was trying to show how that yeah. machine started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, okay. That I do appreciate that. Despite the organizations existing even before this game. Right, right. But yeah, it's all brought in together in a context. Mm. So, three, I feel like uh, whoever is still a philosopher or patriot, mm -hmm. I feel like they're probably going to have, um, be more on the stage instead of, you know, all this shady back backdoor stuff. Yeah. But that has been... Uh, the feeling for the most part for uh, two and three. I feel like maybe yeah. four, maybe they're going to be center stage. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, or we're going to find out there's no such thing again. And there's really, it's aliens this whole time. Mm. It's always aliens. Yeah, you made a safe file in the prison. Oh, uh, Devil, is this specifically a thing where real world time needs to have progressed yes or no the concern here is that i don't know if the clock battery in this playstation 2 is still good i never i've never changed <laughs> it. so the playstation 2 itself may not know that time has passed oh 
Unless it does, and it might tell us on the save files. I'll just check one second. Okay, sure. Um, because yeah, that would one, cancel that whole plan. The one thing I might take away from the ending of Metal Gear Solid 2 is to not forget your past. So future generations can learn from them. Mm -hmm. I get that. Definitely. Um, no. What a tragic it's backstory for out. that PS2 shares this. Unfortunately, Devil, <gasps> the save files from today's and the save file from last week have the same day. Oh, because... Because the clock battery is dead. Clock battery is dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. What a that's tragic okay. backstory for that PS2 share. I could have prevented it. Yeah. Hey, Odin. How's it going? Um, we're just finishing up. Hey, Odin, Solid what's up? Here. Yeah. Thanks I think, for tuning in. Yeah, we've uh, we've chatted uh, in Shao's chat before. Yeah. How, thanks for tuning how in. How are you doing? Appreciate the follow and everything. Um, oh, man. What I'm is your experience with the Metal Gear Solid series, Odin? <sighs> yeah. So that's what, La Bamba, that's what I was going to say. Uh, anyone who has any extra cool stuff you want to show us mm. i highly recommend you go join our discord mm. there's a channel called the debriefing room feel free to link to youtube videos um with specific timestamps, and make sure to use the spoiler tag feature on discord so it doesn't spoil stuff for other people but um if you have specific easter eggs you want to show us uh it is just late for us i don't want to spend the rest of tonight mm -hmm. uh, looking up easter eggs and stuff um yeah, we just don't want to mess around with that right now. Mm -hmm. But we absolutely would love to see the Easter eggs that you guys are passionate about. Just show it, show it to us on Discord. It just makes it that easy for us. That would be fun. Yeah, That'd thank you, ideal. thank you for sharing, Devil. Um, someone should write a memento style screenplay about it. Ooh. Wait, about the PS2 clock battery yeah, or <laughs> all the time shenanigans? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Odin. You know that's okay. Um. Yeah, we just finished Metal Gear Solid Three. And Audrey's first time. First time. Uh huh. I got emotional. I don't know if you saw. I did. I'll let you have your moment. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I just, I wasn't expecting to, but something about the boss just makes me feel things. The hero that no one will never know of. Yeah. I mean, even, even before I knew that was um, kind of her whole mission. She was just so strong. Yeah. Like, you could feel her history or i mean we know about her history with snake and she even said it she's like i i saw you or she even said like i saw you grow up yeah she, she i wish i waited, I waited for, for your, your birth, birth. What, yeah I, I kind of you started like Ooh, i i thought like that? oh is he is he like, like a like, i waited for someone yeah who kind of would be i understand now yeah yeah i i like i've been wanting to meet someone like you or almost like poetic like to I've been waiting be able for to talk like about you. this, yeah. my life candidly. Yeah. yeah, she was definitely, or Snake was definitely her favorite, huh? Thank you, Music Man. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, Music Man. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry, we gotta scroll up. I know that's Odin okay. Odin has played and completed here. one, two, three, and four. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice. So we're on the same boat, Odin. Yes. Um, except I haven't really played four myself. Mm -hmm. So, um. Okay, Devil got a good video. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Thank you for understanding. Was that the second instance of crying on the stream? On this channel? Yes. Um, on there channel, have been probably. tearing up moments. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I tear up a lot and I get away with it. I'm just yeah, like... I know, though. Keep the keep the water here and don't don't let it fall. But the, I don't know. Today is yeah. one of those days, I think. Yeah. I hate crying on stream. Anthony loves it when I cry. I like it. teasing her about it. I'm like, hey, Audrey, you want to watch want to watch that VOD? He does tease <laughs> me about my Final Fantasy VII. Um, yeah. Yeah. I prior to today, I had wondered whether or not the ending of this game would land with you. So I'm I'm pleased that it did. Um. Yeah. I kind of. It's a. It's a. It was a culmination of the their relationship, like the story, uh -huh. and then also the visual. Um, the setting, yes. the music, the flowers, the music. The yeah, it just, um, I'm like, I feel like the heat behind my eyes just thinking about it, uh -huh. you know? Um, yeah. And the only way that you can really experience that is through the way that we've been doing these duos. Definitely. It's like no spoilers. We're just focused on the story. We're not going to get bogged down by side stuff. Yeah. I, I really knew nothing about this game. Uh, you Yeah. You knew way less than I thought you did. I, I knew thought you nothing. Knew, I thought you knew more. No, I feel like. I mean, I didn't. I knew nothing about any of these games so far. 
Um, except one, I knew, you know, Psycho Mantis and things, some of those things. Yeah. Do they do anything, any like meta like thing that they've done like in Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 in this one? I feel like no. In this one? Not that I'm complaining. I feel like it, it was, um, you know. I didn't want I mean, the I sorrow didn't... stuff was spooky weird stuff. Right? <gasps> I will count. I don't know that. if that is. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's he like he didn't say have a sign that said look in the back of the box. No. But he just straight up gave us like a codec number. He had like a timer. Right? Yeah, you know, I'll 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 count it. I'm I'm thinking back, you know, like in uh like one, like you said, look at the back of the box. Yeah. Uh, you know, exchange the controller port. Yeah, you want a massage? Put the controller massage on your arm. Thing, yeah. You know those kind of gimmicky things, and then you like Suikoden. Yeah, uh, with with the two, there was a little bit like oh, uh, you turn just, off the computer, turn off, or turn the, off the, the console, turn off the game. You're you've been you're playing too much. It showed footage of Metal Gear. Yeah, fish and mailed, fish you know mailed, stuff like yeah. that. Um, yeah, this game didn't really go in that direction, but I I I like I didn't. Yeah, it's not less. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, definitely not less. The music was phenomenal. Phenomenal, oh for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, her horse being left behind. That was <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was The teacher student themes are really strong. For the student mm -hmm. to truly surpass a master, it felt like that with Snake and the Boss. Yeah, I think um not even like I, I understand what you mean. I felt more like uh listen. I've taught you everything I know. I've I've um, shared all my knowledge with you. Now, apply it mm -hmm. to the full extent that I've taught you. Mm -hmm. Follow through with your mission. Yeah, your mission. Yeah, and your I could, mission is my mission. I could feel that that was kind of coming up, pretty much, since they said the mission. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I guess I held on to some hope uh, that. I don't know. Some... She just knew, dude. From the beginning of the game, she's like, what will you choose? What will Jack? you choose? Yeah. It, this loyalty was... to the mission or loyalty to your friends? And I love that. It was like, we, she, she told that us that when we were still on the same side, From our quote unquote. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and then it comes back at the end when she's on the other side. I mean, oh yeah, I really like the boss. Yeah. I mean, she was certainly my favorite character in this game. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I mean, I've said it several character. times, but her presence, like she just commands the room. Yeah. Everyone respects her. She's freaking strong. She always puts Snake in his place and everyone else in their place. She's done so much. She's done so much. In the end, she's um, she was actually the true hero, but is actually is uh perceived as the criminal to mm -hmm. everyone. First person. What in a space. Magic stuff for oh, all let's, this crazy stuff. The the way that these games blend into our real world history. Yeah, and yeah, she just com like always gets effed over by kind of by her mission. Like her mission has always loyalty like, to the mission, loyalty to the to the country. She always comes out yeah in the negative. Like what was that about um uh being test subjects for the for that Nevada site? Oh, they're just talking about the nuclear bomb so, test to see so, the effects. Okay, so they they were minutes. just hired as test subjects to see, like, to hang hired, out. Yeah, I don't know about hired, but yeah. not hired. Okay, and uh, big. And that's boss. how one of the ways that she connected with them. Uh, naked, naked snake. snake. Yeah. And then yeah, there was that, and then because she's already been irradiated, just send her up to space. Like, what more? Could, what? Yeah, more they were rushing it because they were they felt behind Russia's tests. Dude, and then Cuba. She was yeah, the Bay of Pigs. She was involved in a lot of this real world history, historical events. Who was it that said it in chat earlier that um, she's essentially like um, Forrest Gump? <laughs> oh my god, someone said that? All, yeah, it's connected to all these historical things. That is hilarious. Through, like military history. That is actually really funny. But yeah, Sorry we didn't read that out loud. Yeah, it is. Sorry. And again, yeah, earlier. sorry. Um, as it usually comes, goes this way, especially for the, for the last um, stream. Because we're so focused on the game, we don't want to miss it. Yeah. So we miss a lot of chat. But I really, I, I assure you, I will go back after this we and watch this. the VOD again, because I, I always, I like to do that because you know there are things that I miss, especially yeah. um, with chat and. We always watch the VODs. Yeah. So. But um, yeah, that's 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 one of the ways we're able to preserve this feeling is that we really focus on the game and the story. So, and I, I'm sure you guys who have stuck around understand that about yeah. our channel. 
Volgan, probably the most outright evil character so far in this series. They don't humanize slash victimize him in any way as they did others. Mm, great point, La Bamba. So that is, series, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think. And he was just, yeah. I mean, he, what was his, I, I, I think he kind of said it. His goal was. He was a child of the philosophers. Yeah. And after his father passed away, he learned about the legacy and he found it and took it for himself. And then, and then what? He wanted, like he talked about using the the legacy to um, equalize everybody. Or he, he to wanted reconnect, to reconnect, right? Yeah. He wanted to, you know, be the force that kind of, like him and Cobra Unit and um, the Shagohad would be. Like he just forces the world to be connected together under his boot, essentially. Okay. But also he's unhinged and, and wants he's to yeah. like set off nuclear missiles and and yeah. in the end didn't care about any of that and just chase down Snake. Yeah. Interesting guy. Yeah. Unhinged. Yeah. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Thunder Thunderbolt. Special game. Yeah, and, and this one, um I and I've kind of been excited about this for all the Metal Gear Solid games. Mm. The, the cast of um, bosses yeah. have been kind of unique, or they, they have been unique. Um, I mean, Metal Gear Solid 1, we had Foxhound, mm -hmm. um, Psycho Mantis, Sniper yeah. Wolf, uh, Vulcan Raven, among others. Decoy Octopus. Decoy Octopus, sorry, I forgot about Decoy because yeah. it turned out Decoy was there all along. Yeah. Um, and then Metal Gear Solid 2, we have Dead Fortune, Cell. Dead Solid, we have Vamp, Fat uh, Man. A fat man. Um, so I was excited to see what the bosses were going to be like in this game, and uh -huh. it was in the form of Cobra Unit. Yeah. And I love the concept. I love the concept. I was wondering if they were going to go into the their stories, their individual individual stories yeah the characters themselves didn't get to really tell their own stories but they all kind of just shared the same story they, they just had a history with the boss mm. yeah and i feel like um this is the first time i felt like it actually went it crossed over into the supernatural more like they, they kind of do that in metal gear solid 2 but they kind of justify it somehow um and it, in the first game they definitely justify it by you know saying you know oh experiments or you know technology or whatever in this one we have a, a dude who controls hornets we have a you know an elect a man who controls electricity yeah. we have the the end who's like he can just nap and naps, pause his life yes yeah. um you know and um fear who was kind of just a parkour master <laughs> not actually he, he was i don't know he he had like a vamp stuff. vibe. Yeah. yeah. Um, not that I needed needed it to be explained. I was just expecting it. So, um, I was yeah. Not that I needed it. Yeah. Someone did point in the it sorrow out in a previous stream in chat saying that this was like a compensation. They didn't want to put too much emphasis on the uh, the backstories of the characters. Yeah, like but I like. I'm not sure. I like the characters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I think I, I. I mean, I really liked Sniper Wolf. Um, Cypher, Cypher Wolf's moment in the first game. Mm -hmm. That one stood out to me. This is the first time we can't blame nano machines for everything. Yes, and I was expecting. I was just waiting for nano I was waiting, waiting for I was waiting for nano machines, and it never it never showed up. So I'm sure nano machines are gonna come back. <laughs> that is still on my mind. I felt disappointed with the majority of the Cobras. They didn't have much backstory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the backstories is what makes made the care uh, the bosses interesting for me in in the previous games so maybe so that's why i was kind of expecting a little bit like i wanted to feel so you hope for more of that in the future perhaps um yeah i guess i hope i guess i hope i guess i hope i do yeah. i suppose so do you want to talk about the future okay let's talk about the future so after each of these dang games we have repeated no promises about what our next duo stream is game is going to be, right? Again, Audrey and I stream separately on this channel, but we also have this once a week stream together. 
And the focus has always been on the story, and we just go with whatever we feel like.、Mm. And we, we just didn't want to promise it that this is just going to be like the year of Metal Gear or anything like that.、Um, but then we played immediately Metal Gear Solid 2, and then Metal Gear Solid 3. So, what are you saying? I'm saying, I'm saying we're really, we're very likely <laughs> to play、Ooh. Metal Gear Solid 4 next. <gasps> is that Very、me? likely. That's it. Audrey cannot, cannot look at the box. Wait, I want to see the box. <laughs> Audrey cannot look、Wait. at the box. Does、at、he、all. have an eye patch? Can't show you anything. I got to hide these games in the closet or something. So it sounds like maybe we're starting Metal Gear Solid 4 next week? Sounds like we're starting Metal Gear Solid 4、What? next week. <gasps> the, so I was so excited that Audrey turned out to know very little about Metal Gear Solid 3. That I, I want to maintain that for Audrey to go into Metal Gear Solid 4 not knowing anything. Yeah, don't read the back cover, it'll lead in a direction. Exactly. Everyone's, I'm so <laughs> glad you guys are all on the same page about that. Don't, yeah, so don't. And I know, <laughs> I know that people have differing opinions on all these games. This one and that one <laughs> is better than this one and that one and whatever, right? Yeah. But we're, the way that we're playing it is we're kind of treating it all as one big old long story. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to block Audrey's access to Wikipedia? I have enough self control to not look、Audrey、at the games, but I will be looking up about C3. <laughs> what, what if at the bottom there's a <laughs> footnote like,、yeah, that footnote, just says, like, of, yeah, references to C3? Yeah. Or in no. Popular culture. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you know, like, funded by the,、uh, the philosopher's legacy. La, li, 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 la, yes.、Yeah. Um. <laughs> And yeah, just the idea that yes, this and that game might be better or worse than the other ones in a franchise or a series.、Mm. But I have had this personal philosophy that I endure a weak entry because it adds to an overall lore that I love.、Mm. Audrey doesn't subscribe to that philosophy as much as I do. But、mm. um, I take it as a, a bigger picture. And, uh, um, Devil says, let's analyze the Metal Gear Solid 3 boxes right now. I would love to like, take yeah, a closer take a look, look、yeah, at both of them. So we have both、uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Sneaky Dark, and. <laughs> Finally, the, the first appearance of Chill Penguin. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting it now. I'm excited. You can perhaps open the boxes and look at the manuals. Get、so、your you Men in Black Neuralizer ready. <laughs> <laughs> If only. Oh my god. Quick, someone edit C3 Wikipedia with a footnote that says Audrey. <laughs> Uh, Share my philosophy with weak entries is to purge them from the history books. <laughs> yeah, I get that too. I get that too. But without that power, I'm forced to share. Is, them. Par- share is part of the philosophers. Yes, confirmed. yes, the creating new, re- reshaping the context. Yeah, what is that system called? The, the GW, GW、right? system? Yeah. Oh, there's a whole comic in here. Oh, yes, dude. Show dude, it looks cool. What is the comic encompass?、Uh, I remember reading this, but it's been a while. He's eating a fish. He's eating snakes. Oh. Oh, it's, is it teaching you about the game?、Uh, it's teaching you about the game in, in a comic book form. Nice. I don't, now I feel like I don't want to bend the spine. It's just a booklet, but it's fine. It's teaching you about st- the stamina gauge,、nice. gathering food. How cute. Replace the cover with a fake version containing but nothing but lies. Yes, Odina. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Replace the cover with something that just misleads you? <gasps> no! <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, and they have、um, a list of the main characters and、um, that, you know, that character art in the, in the style that we know. Who's the artist? Yoji Shinkawa? Oh, I wasn't. Is that I the, never. Is that, maybe I'm remembering a, the wrong name. Who's the character artist for the Metal Gear series? Oh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Timeline? Oh, is that what? what we saw at the end, or is there more? Oh, no. This、oh, is this the timeline is... of the events in the games? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the, the timeline、game. of our real world, maybe. No. Yeah,、the、I think I, I think about. No, no, no. This is like history. Okay, thank you guys. Confirming the name. It is Yoji Shinkawa. Well, now I don't know. I don't know where the line between true history and Kojima history starts. It's all blended together. It is. It's a history smoothie. Yeah. Man, is there a number we can call on this? I gotta talk to Hideo Kojima. <laughs> you think he'll respond to my DMs on Instagram? I'm just kidding.、Uh, 
Um, oh wait, I saw a message earlier. Uh, Johnny says, I'm watching a uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 cutscene right now, trying to get some clarification on Metal Gear Solid 3. I can't handle my own questions. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So, I mean, sounds like Metal Gear Solid 4 next week. Yeah. So if you want to be here... The hard thing is I'm really going to have to... I'm probably going to have to look ahead. Oh, okay. And plan our future streams on Metal Gear Solid 4 because I don't want us to hit a situation where we're like four hours in, mm -hmm. but we're about to see two hours worth of cutscenes. Oh, you're right. So Cause you can't I really personally pause. will need to sh plan our streams with a definite start and end point. Mm. Checkpoints. Because we cannot go too late. Oh, and I'm an sure ad. I'm sure some of you who have played Metal Gear Solid 4 have been have had those cutscenes sneak up on you. Yeah. You can pause cutscenes in four, but can we? Would, but would we want to stop a stream in the middle of a cutscene? New no, that no, that's that's the the thing, right? Oh, Yoji Shinkawa has been with Kojima for everything, including Death Stranding. Yeah, I love that. Kojima retweets people streaming Metal Gear. From what I've seen, oh. got to tweet at, we got to tweet at him. Yeah, exactly. Hell no, you would not want to stop. So that's what I mean. Like, yeah. I'm going to have to plan our, our streams of that game. And again, to facilitate emphasis on cutscenes and story, we're going to be playing it on an easier difficulty. Sounds like we need to get that popcorn going. Yeah, we need some popcorn. <laughs> For me too, because then I can actually yeah. hang out. <laughs> Kojima's next stream surprise guest, Odin. I'm going to shoot my shot. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, Oh my God! If he could just w watch with us and uh, do like director's commentary sort of thing, but not spoil the future of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Kojima cosplay. Go <laughs> <laughs> put it on the list. We gotta have ideas for uh, the next yes. Halloween. -y. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween stream. Check out yeah. the vods of our previous ones. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Usually, dress up in costume for a Halloween. Stream. Well, yeah, never as a actual person maybe maybe a big boss or a boss a character too the boss cosplay that would be awesome um i'm yeah i'm looking at the cover of the subsistence version so this is um this is snake at the very end of the game yeah does he have that metal on him no no not in there um but this this must be those uh the flowers right the lilies in that last mm -hmm. dude beautiful game huh yeah. Thanks, Foxhound. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Yeah, so we'll lock it in. Yeah. Locking Starting next it in. week, Metal Gear Solid 4. Mm. It is a longer game. Yeah. But we've knocked out these games in like three or four streams, so. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I still think like four streams each game, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah. So this is but this will be after that, again, no promises. More Metal Gear Solid. But there are yet Peace more Walker? games. Yeah. Release order would be Peace Walker <gasps> and then Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Oh, Ground Zeroes. Yeah. I'm not going to explain anything about what those are. I have no but idea. But for you guys, I have played Ground Zeroes and a Peace Walker, but I have not played Metal Gear Solid The backdrop five. for the next Rainy Rumble. <laughs> what? The, the, the flower the flower. Oh field. my God, dude. <laughs> Just <laughs> me being the... <laughs> Pathetic. The Thank bosses. you, Odin. We'd we'd love to have you there. <laughs> yeah, awesome, Odin. Yeah, excited. Still haven't finished five. Yeah, Anthony hasn't played it like he said, and I I don't know anything about it. I know. Uh, again, the only thing I really know about this whole series is what I barely remember out of four, watching my brother play, and um, memes, and uh, maybe reading something here and there. Mm. But I think when I read something off like you know, a fan wikia or something like that. It's like one in one ear out the other. I'm yeah. just like, oh yeah, okay, that's neat. Yeah, Bye. Without the context, it's, uh, it doesn't stick. Definitely, to your brain. definitely, yeah. definitely. So yeah. um, this is to be continued. Uh, I want to thank everyone again. This is so fun. Yeah, and again, Audrey said earlier that we probably missed a ton of you guys' messages. We'll be looking at the VOD and we appreciate you guys yeah. hanging out, sharing your passion for these games and yeah. we'll definitely be reading your messages. Yeah, um, I... And don't be afraid to um, repost your messages after a while if we mm -hmm. miss something. Um, this is to be 
continue to Metal Gear Solid 4 next week. Yep. Confirmed. Uh, and I'm sure Anthony will post our uh, schedule on the Discord. So if you want to stay the most up-to-date with us, check out our Discord. Mm -hmm. Um, There's all the stuff. Anthony's playing more Hollow Knight tomorrow. Yeah, my first playthrough of Hollow Knight. We just started it last week. Um, We got a couple more streams of Hollow Knight this week. It has been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Really enjoying it. So that's my solo stream. Metal Gear Solid 4 is the duo stream. What is Audrey's... What did you just finish in just, your solo stream? I just Audrey? finished Ocarina of Time. First playthrough. What a pleasure watching that was. That Thank was really fun. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play next for my long form solo playthrough thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see if I choose something before Monday. If not, maybe I'll do a one off something. Mm-hmm. But I do have a short list and I've kind of teased it in the last stream. But I do plan to post it on Discord at some point. I know I said I would do that. So Similar to my post and similar posts we have before. Where you yeah. Guys could, uh, look out for that. Emote to one or more. Yeah. That you'd like on Metal Gear play. Acid? Whoa. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, so yeah, look out for that. I'm not sure what yet or when. Um, hopefully by Monday. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, look out for that. Um, and yeah, that's on our Discord. I put the link in the chat. There's also Instagram and Twitter. She's playing Jump King. Okay, get ready. Whoa, Jump oh. King? Are you talking about Sneak King Blossom? What is Sneak King? It's a Burger King game. I don't know what this is. Okay, I'll show you later. I know the KFC um, Colonel Sanders. It's um, funnier than that, I think. Like dating sim game. Yeah. Ask oh, it could be fun game. to check out, but not commit to a full playthrough. I played it uh, yeah, um, a long time ago. That's the only Metal Gear game that I'll say that I played. I, I don't remember. I remember it being a card game. Mm-hmm. Um, aside that, I don't really remember. Pretty sure nobody knows what that is. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no idea. Also, I put a link in chat to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Uh If you want to rewatch any of these streams or watch playthroughs that you've missed, if you're a newer viewer, uh, I first recommend youtube.com slash It's just higher quality of recordings of our VODs go on YouTube. You can, of course, watch the VODs here on Twitch. And to help that, we have this command, Games Played. It'll link you to a Google spreadsheet that lists all the games that we've streamed. It'll tell you who played the game, whether or not we completed it, but it'll also link you directly to the playlists of the VODs to both Twitch and YouTube. So it's a it's a good way to um, answer that question of like, I wonder if Audrey and Anthony have streamed this or that yet. Um, so you can reference that spreadsheet yeah. at a glance and see so what you wanna, played. If you want to see my tears in HD, go to YouTube. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's part six of no, Audrey's no, 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 no. Final don't go, Fantasy don't go to it. Seven. Don't go to it. No, original no, no, playthrough. I meant today's, but okay. Oh, yeah. There's also this. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, this will be on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we're going to we're gonna hang out for a little bit more, and then we're going to try to find someone to raid. Yeah, but it's pretty late. We'll try. Yeah. Um, just want to thank everyone again. It's special. This game is special. Yeah. Thank you for not knowing anything about it. Thank you. Yeah. You're <laughs> welcome. Um, I don't Yeah. I feel like it's found its voice in a weird way. Like, mm. the first two... It's still... I still feel like, you know, there's that that feeling, um, I don't know, like that tone from the first two games, but it's it's kind of evolved into it's something unique, that's yeah. incredibly cinematic. Mm-hmm. Um, and it still has that kind of like kooky, like yes. campiness of it. Yeah. And, and, drama like times a thousand in this one just jumping back and forth <laughs> well, and feeling natural yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um it, it's it's a treat so i'm excited to see about four yeah yeah how it's gonna evolve or um be the same yeah no doubt we'll start the stream talking about your expectations for sure so look forward to that yeah i feel like yeah, i don't know i i honestly don't know this is it's a it's a different snake Meru, Meru, thank you very much for the follow. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for the follow. We'll do a mini dance party. We're just finishing up, um, talking about Metal Gear Solid 3. Excited thank for you. 4. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be back to Solid Snake. I, I, I'm i making a big assumption here. I, I think it's going to be Solid Snake. Um, so we'll see. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but thank you all again. Yeah, hope to um, see you there next week. Just want to thank everyone. Thank you so much. We will see you hopefully next time. Yeah, my name is Anthony. And I'm Audrey. Together we are Rianne. See you next time. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>